Guys and girls, welcome to the Am Stream. Welcome to the Zypho Show this Friday evening. And how are we all doing? Welcome tonight and this week. We've had three, yes, three, one, two, three new Amstrad games released in a week. What's going on? It's like buses, you wait for one, and then all three come along all at once. Bloody hell. <laughs> right. Um, so, yeah, they're, like, uh, relatively small releases, but, like, I thought, like, um, rather than doing them one at one am stream at a time, I thought we'd check all three out tonight. And we've got Chloe, go, uh, learns how to recycle. We've got Rigor Mortis, and we've got Vexed. Now, two of the games, Chloe and Rigor Mortis, are from the same author, Churosoft. And I believe the coder is in the chat tonight. Where was he? Where was he? Um... Francis, Francis PF, is in the chat tonight. He's the coder of the game, aka Churosoft. So I'll say, everyone say hello to Francis. Hello, Francis. Hola, welcome. Welcome to the Amstream, my friend. Welcome. So we, we'll be looking at your two games first tonight. So that's that's quite um, handy and useful. Um, so we're going to be looking at Chloe first. She's kind of like a cutesy platformer. Where Chloe is going to be bouncing around a park, collecting bottles, and, and chucking them in the correct recycling bins, and then and, and then taking out hooligans who are dropping the bottles everywhere. Um, so it's quite a cutesy platformer. And then the second game is kind of like the dark opposite. It's not cutesy. Rigor Mortis finds you playing as the as Death, the Grim Reaper, um, collect, collecting and harvesting souls. Of poor and unfortunate patients in hospitals and um, um, convents for being protected by nuns and doctors and stuff like that, and taking their souls to um, heaven, basically. Quite dark, gruesome. <laughs> and again, that's another platformer. And then our third game tonight is Vexed, which is a uh, puzzle game, which um, is quite an interesting one because it's a it's a puzzle game that has been simultaneously coded for a bunch of whole other computers and systems and released simultaneously at the same time for all other platforms they've been, it's been developed for, which includes the ColecoVision, MSX, Sega SG-1000, the Sega Mass System, Sega Game Gear, the ZX Spectrum, the SpectraVision, the Emotech MTX-512 and the Game Boy, as well as the Amstrad, and it's been released at the same time on all those systems. So I'm going to have to take a look at that as well. Now, if we have time, depending on how long those games take us to get through, we may do some um, community AMS games tonight, if you want to. We'll see how the chat's feeling, if we're too knackered for them or something like that, or exhausted. Um, or we will just move on to game requests. We'll see how we're feeling tonight. Um, John Q, welcome to the AMS stream. Is this your first time here tonight, John Q? So let us know in the chat, and we'll give you, we'll give you an extra special welcome. Yes, does anyone remember the game Minder? On the Amstrad base of the TV series. Yes. We had a look at that on an Amstream a few months ago. And that caused much mirth and merriment and laughs. Because <laughs> it had the theme tune um, playing constantly throughout the game. It was quite funny actually. Yes. We had a look at that a few a while back actually. And we love a bit of Werewolves of London. Yes. I did a whole long play of that. And I think we have a, we have a yearly at Halloween Am, Amstream. A Halloween show. We did a live long play of that uh, a couple of Halloweens ago as well. So we actually beat the game live on the Amstream 
a couple of Halloweens ago. So that was good fun. That was good fun. We'll be doing some game requests later on, John. If you're, if you're still awake in a, probably an hour or two. <laughs> welcome in, John. Welcome in, John. Right, so let's do some greetings. Let's take the opportunity to welcome each and every one of you to the chat, if we can. How long should we do on the greetings? Ten minutes? We do it in ten minutes? Let's see if we can. But before we do, actually, before we do, something came in during the start of the stream, before the stream started, actually. Hang on. Chiefy! Chief89 dropped a 472. The Spanish variant of the Amstrad. A 472 dono through the super chat. Can we have some bananas in the chat for Chiefy? Who was admitted he might be a little bit squiffy already, I think I saw in the chat. Chiefy, thank you very, very much for the 472 dono. Let's see those bananas. Let's see those bananas in the chat for Chiefy. Might need some extra potassium tonight. Thank you, Chiefy, for the 472. All the, all the rustlers. <laughs> Thank you, Chiefy. Thank you very, very, very much. It's very kind of you, Chiefy. Uh, he says, what can I say? I started drinking early, I guess. <laughs> Thank you, Chiefy. I hope you had a nice time, a nice day on the taxis. The taxi cabs today. Thank you, Chiefy. Thank you very, very, very much. Welcome, welcome to Chief. Oh, hang on. Will Hung. God. Will Hong has donated one pound. Uh oh, it started. Will Hong. Hang, what's this? Being a gynecologist is like working with fast food as you cannot really eat anything without someone kicking off. <laughs> Thank you, Will Hong. And I have no idea who that was. It's from the it's from the account that um, hides their email address. Oh, hang on. Actually, I think I know who that was. That's German. A rare dodo from German. Hello, German with the germs. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you're a bit poorly at the moment, German. Thank you, moshing poorly into the stream, German. Thank you very very much. But bananas in the chat. For German, how you doing, German? Hope you're feeling a bit better soon, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, mate. I, I figured you out. I figured you out. Hello, German. How you doing, my friend? <laughs> yeah. And can you take John Joe? Uh, can, can you can you take John Joe back to um, uh, Newcastle along with Chris Wood, please, German? He's rubbish. They're both rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, German78. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Right. Um, Logan, Kyle. Welcome in, Logan. Welcome in, Logan. How you doing, my friend? Welcome to the Amstream. John Q, I love a bit of Emlyn Hughes as well. Love a bit of Emlyn Hughes. Um, check the chat there. Right. Let's have a look. Uh, let's do the greetings. Um, right. We do... Okay, right. Greetings. Let's start the timer. Let's see if we can do the time. Uh, let's do the greetings if we can in ten minutes. Let's start the count. Let's start the counter. Right. Let's try and do welcome everybody into the Amstream as quick as I can. And my view count's got stuck again. Uh, oh, it's going to be a night with my view count getting stuck. See if we can refresh that top right corner. No, it's stuck on zero now. Zero. Zero. Forty. There we go. That's better. Right. Okay. What can I say? Ooh, Jolly at twelve fifty six. Zombie peaks at seven thirty. That's cheapy. David Watkins at eight sixteen. You eager beaver. Hello, David. Amasif. Evening. Good evening, uh, Amasif. How you doing, my friend? Trey. Hello, Trey. Welcome in, my friend. We got Magic Knight. Good evening, Magic Knight. Welcome, Magic Knight. How's it going, sir? Welcome, welcome. Oxo. A razor toast to you as always, Oxo. Welcome, my friend. What are you drinking this evening? Pete Walker, the legendary, lovely Pete Walker. How is it going, my friend? Lollipops for everyone this evening, I hope. Welcome, Pete. Lovely to see you as always, Pete. Mwah. 
Um, we've got Chiefy. Thank you again for the 472, Chiefy. Welcome, dude. <laughs> what are you drinking this evening? You started early. You eager beaver, you. Francis, looking forward to checking out your two games tonight, Francis. We'll be getting getting there in about eight minutes. Let me just welcome everyone. Mike ZT, welcome, Mike. Hello, good to the events, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Uh, oh, there you go, Francis. Hello, I'm the one that made the games Rigor Mortis and Chloe. Thank you very much for the stream. All the best. Can't wait to get to them. We'll get to them very shortly, hopefully, Francis. Um, uh, where are we? Where are we? Hey, Han. Welcome, Hey, Han. How are your puds doing, Hey, Han, as always? Welcome, Hey, Han. We've got Mr. Neon. Hello, Mr. Neon. How's it going, mate? How's your week been? Ahoy, Johnny boy. Munch to potpourri. It's Johnny Boy. How's it going? Shalom. We've got uh, next thing. Don. Don. How's it going, Don? How's your week been? We've got Mr. Jack Fursby. And welcome again to the Am Squad, Jack. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining again, mate. I really, really appreciate that, Jack. I hope you've been enjoying all the old posts on the on the Patreon there. Um, and welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. We've got, and again, sorry about the new pneumonia kicking your butt, German. Thank you again for the cheeky dodo. <laughs> um, Andy H. Hello, Andy. Welcome, mate. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? Again, thank you for your, your continued support as always, mate. OJ Beads. Welcome, mate. Check out Risk Man on eBay for all your joystick goodness and uh, retro pads. Welcome, mate. We've got, next in, Robin Hook, the retro games with... How's it going, my fellow Ams fan? Oh, hang on. Bruce Decock. <laughs> Bruce Cock. Right, I got it. I got it. Bruce Cock. Very clever. Very clever. <laughs> Zypho is going to play in the soft play tomorrow. Who'd like to see an Ewok in a ball pool? Yes, it's me. That uh, must be Mrs. Zypho. Um, I'm going, yes, it's Mini Zypho's fifth birthday party tomorrow, and we'll take him to a soft play part birthday party tomorrow with ball pools and swings and yes, yes, and all that kind of stuff. Yes, I'm sod off, I'm not an Ewok. Thank you, Mrs. Zypho. Thank you. Bananas in the chat for Mrs. Zypho there, posing as bruised cock. Uh, which I hope I won't get tomorrow. Thank you, Mrs. Zypho. Thank you. Hilarious. Hilarious. Um, <laughs> where did I get to? Where did I get to? Um, <laughs> moving swiftly on. Um, right, who, have, who else have I got to meet? There is Mrs. Zypho. Welcome. Thank you, babe. Thank you very much. And she's made an excellent birthday cake out of it. She's made a mallard train birthday cake. She'll post a picture of the Discord, Mrs. Ifo, of it, of it actually. But she, she's a very, very excellent cook, as you, as you should all know by now. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> right, losing my voice a little bit. Um, where am I? Where am I? Quickly then. Greetings. We've got five minutes left on the greetings. Um, RetroQ, RetroQ, how you doing my friend? Welcome in, House Tricks. Any new videos on your YouTube channel? You should let the chat know. Zombie Peaks, welcome Zombie Peaks. Here we go. Shortly, five minutes, the game starts. Welcome in, Zombie Peaks, the OG of the Am stream. How you doing, mate? Uh, we've got Vimster, Vimmy, how you doing, matey? It's not Marvel's time. Were you there last night? <laughs> Welcome, Vimmy. Welcome, Vimmy. How's it going, mate? Um, we've got terrible coughing. I had a little bit of a terrible cough just then. Let me have a drink. Welcome, mate. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? Um, have your week's been okay? Nish from CPC Game Reviews. Have you reviewed the games yet, Nish? Welcome in, Nish. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. We've got... Um, Wang. Way of the Wicked! Hola! Welcome, Way of the Wicked! How's it going, sir? Nice to see you as always. Welcome, welcome. Um, John Q listed some fantastic games there. Uh, excellent, excellent. We've got... Anyone else? Where are we, where are we at? Um... Henri! Bonsoir! Salut! Come on, Savar Henry! How are you doing, my friend? Welcome! Good to see you as always. Lovely to see Henry there. 
Um, and Ricky Zambrosi, aka Mr. Christian Tom Ford. Welcome, Ricky. Good to see you in the chat, mate. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. And we've got a Tazong. Howdy, partner. Welcome, Tazong. Nice to see you, my friend. Welcome. We've got the... Hang on. Oh, my chat re-scrolled. See, it does that. It does that. Where did we get to? I was about to say hello to Lady Andrea Wyatt. Lady Andy, how you doing? Welcome. Um, how's the kids? Ooh, one of them's about to do his GCSE exams, and he could be a little bit grumpy. <laughs> Uh, other than that, oh, Mini Zypho, he's, ooh, he cracked the screen on his little tablet. He loves his tablet, and so he's in tears, floods of tears yesterday. So we're desperately trying to get it fixed somewhere. So, other than that, they're okay. <laughs> How's your family? Um, you got another two weeks off from taxi driving. You're on holiday, Chiefy. No, wo no, no wonder you're having a few drinks. Good for you, Chiefy. Good for you. Enjoy your time off. Logan Kale, welcome to the Amstream again, my friends. Is this your first time here in the chat? If so, let us know. We'll give you an extra special greeting, if so. Welcome, Logan. Two minutes left on the... Yeah, Amaswai says 10 minutes. Good luck. I know, we're not doing too bad. Two minutes left on the timer. Um, Looking forward to extra stream as always. As a PS, don't want Shelby or Wood back. You can keep the smeggers. No, take them back. I think we spent nearly 5 million on them. I know. I know. You ba you've had our pants down, basically, German. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Um, right, okay. Um, nearly done with the greetings, I think. And then we can get to the oh, chat room window rescrolled. All right, nearly there. Nearly it. Oh, hang on. Rigorous mortification. <laughs> with a £1.28 dono. Good grief. How much schlock would an Ewok hock if an Ewok could hock schlock? <laughs> that sounds like a man shovel dono. I can smell a man shovel dono a mile off. I don't, I'm not even going to look at my phone. Exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat for a man shovel. That is a man shovel dono. That is a man shovel dono. Smell it a mile off. Thank you, man shovel, for the £1.28 there. Pumpkins in the chat for Man Shovel. Thank you, Man Shovel. How you doing, Man Shovel? Good to see you, my friend. Opposing as rigorous mortification there. Thank you. I bet you're looking forward to uh, um, rigor mortis. Well, welcome, Man Shovel. Welcome, my friend. 58 seconds left. Can I do the greetings? Can I finish them off? Right, make sure I've not missed anyone. Ha! <laughs> Zypho is secretly going to the soft play for himself. Oh, come on. We all enjoy a bit of soft play area. Hmm. <laughs> Careful of soft balls, indeed. Especially if GP is about Bimster. Yes. Um. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Uh, thank you, Zombie Peaks. Uh, all, happy to, more than all happy to see you too, my friend. Um. I hope Mini Zypher gets to enjoy some Amstrad classics as he grows up. Absolutely. When he's old enough, maybe in a year's time, I'll be loading up some tapes, Amsoft tapes, on the 464 for him, Jack Fursby, and introducing him to some Roland on the Ropes and Space Orcs and Galactic Plague. God help him. <laughs> You're going to review them shortly, CPC Game Reviews. Excellent. Oh, the timer is up. The timer is up. I'm nearly there. R R Raspergu. Hello, Lord Raspergu. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. How you doing, my friend? Uh, am I near the end of the chat? I think I am. I think I am. Um, I know. Poor mini Zypho, Andrea. I know, I know. Michael T. Hello, Michael T. Uh, your kid's nearly 12. Scared as hell. Love us so. Oh, Michael. I know. I know. God. Nearly 12. Yeah, nearly a teenager. Nearly teenager. Bloody hell. Um, where are we are? Oh, Sneaky Maud. Sneaky Maud sneaking in. Hello, Maud. Welcome in, Maud. How's it going? And Michael as well. Mr. Michael Taggart. How's it going, my friend? As well. Um, I don't mind the troll donos, Rusburgu. That's all the fun of them. Oi, 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 man shovel. Welcome in. 
Uh, have I missed anyone there? I Warzord! The board Time Lord arriving in his TARDIS. Welcome, Warzord. Welcome, welcome. He'd probably be able to play those games now. He plays Burning Rubber. Mini Zypho has been playing on the Amstrad. And he plays Burning Rubber on the GX4000 and loves it. And he has been playing it for about a year, actually. So I have actually already started him on the Amstrad. So, and there is footage on, uh, video footage on my Patreon. I've been playing that. So, there you go. Woo! I think we've done the greetings. We've done the greetings. Just about. Okay, let's take away the chat there and we can start on the first game tonight at long last you can't stuck again which is a bit annoying let me just refresh that and we'll oh oh lord respergu with the 149 dollars through the super chat we have some bananas or well, sausage actually the Lord of Spurgu. Did we have a sausage command? I can't remember. Or hot dog. I can't remember. Thank you, Lord of Spurgu. Thank you. <laughs> we did. I think we had our exclamation mark hot dog command for some reason. We have exclamation mark hot dog in the chat for Lord of Spurgu. Because he did actually put a hot dog gift with the um, the dodo there. Thank you, Lord of Spurgu. Oh, there is a lollipop. <laughs> Thank you, Raspergu. Thank you very, very, very much, Lord Raspergu. Thank you, mate. Thank you very, very much. Cheers, dude. Lord Raspergu there. Thank you. Thank you. Right. We can get to the first game now. I take away the thumbnail. And we're going to have to load this from tape. We're going to have some um, old school tape loading. This won't take long to load up. This won't take long to load up. Um... Now, if you want to get this game, um, it's on the archive.org website, believe it or not. Um, I'm going to put the link in the chat there. And you can find it on the archive.org site. There's the picture. There's the box art. Ah, a bit small. Chloe Aprende uh, Recycler. That's Chloe learns to recycle. Yeah, put the uh, live chat. And there it goes. All in Spanish. And uh, we can translate it another time if you want. But there you go. There's there's the website if you want to go and download it for yourself. Just download the. Uh, you can, see, can you see my mouse cursor? There you go. Just download the zip file there. That's the easiest one to download from the archive.org website. Link is in the chat. Oh yeah, the GP the GP command is live again. Right, we're going to load this up from tape. I should have perhaps started this going before finishing the uh, greetings, actually. But it's actually quite a, quite a quick loader. Okay. Right. Are you ready for the loading noises? Are you ready? Oh, ape loading noises. Here you go. Does that bring back memories? Now, this will load in under a minute, I think, pretty much. Chiefy's just trying all, all, trying all the commands. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, happy days. Nostalgia. You've got mail. <laughs> now, this will not take long to load. It won't, won't take long to load. Look, look, look. Because look at that loading screen is already there. Because now we've got the, the, the clever people have crunched down tape loading to like like turbo load times, right? Game tape games are now so quick to load because clever people with their I don't know how they do it. Maybe Nish knows how they how how have people got tape games to load so quickly these days? Um. How they managed it, I don't know. I don't know. This this will be loaded in about 30 seconds, I think. Oh, does, it, does this bring back good memories? So this is using the Mojon Twins Mark, and Mark 1 or MK1 engine. So you can expect like a decent uh, platformer game based on that engine. 
Mike Gammon. Hello, Mike. Good to see you again. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. We haven't got a carrots command. We did have a turtle command. I'm sure we had a turtle command. Don't know what's happened to that. Um, man shovel. I'm not sure what happened to that one. Sometimes if the, if the turtles, exclamation mark turtles with an S. Look at that, it's loaded. A whole entire game loaded. How long did that take, chat? One minute, one minute, 30 seconds. Bloody hell. Remember Sultan's Maze taking about 20 plus minutes to load? Compression is the answer. There are several compressors available that are very effective, such as Exomizer, ZX7, and Apultra. Welcome back, OJBs. Here we are, tight screen, so it was a nice loading screen. Ooh, nice little tune. There we go. Front of the game, show us some moves. There we go. Who can forget the joy of Sultan's Maze loading? <laughs> You, had some, you went for a football match, Jolly. Did you actually play in the football match, Jolly? Andrea, I think we need to replace that yellow belly command with just some mushrooms, I think. Mmm, Jiro Shop. And here we are. Right. Chloe. The Apprendi a Recycler. Um, translates to Chloe learns to recycle. It was about 20 plus minutes, German. I think it was one of the longest loading games from the Amsoft catalogue. Oh, you were watching, Jolly. Ah, okay. You reckon it was about 30 minutes? Could have been. Could have been. I think it told you on the box how long it. Sometimes some a lot of those Amsoft games told you how long it would take to load, didn't it? Actually, just quickly, if you look carefully here. Sultan's Maze, this program will take about 17 minutes to load. You look carefully there, Sultan's Maze box, 17 minutes. Hmm, okay, okay. Right, there you go, 17 minutes apparently. Felt longer, it felt longer. Amsoft tended not to lie, though. <laughs> right, okay. Nice tune here. We'll play on joystick. We get into it? Let's get into it. Ah, okay. Nice colourful Moan Nort graphics. There you go. We're we'll Trolley Chloe there. And so we've got 16 lives at the bottom left panel there. Uh, bottles, red bottles, uh, zero out of five, so we've got to collect five of those bottles. And what I remember, what I can understand from the Spanish instructions, I tried to translate them using Google Translate. Uh, you've got to take them to a bottle bank and deposit them in a the bottle bank. Um, next to the bottles at the bottom panel there, uh, there's that white, um, there's that white dude. I think that's a hooligan, and you've got to just. You've got to kill the hooligans. Zero out of 20. And there's one on the screen moving back and forward. Now, I would guess that you don't just, like, walk into them to kill them. I presume you have to jump on their heads Super Mario style to bop them. Um, and then there's keys bottom right corner to collect. Uh, and insects, I guess you have to avoid them. So I think we've got to... 
Ah, one out of 20. So, okay. So that's a hooligan. We've jumped on a hooligan's head. And this looks like a traumatizing game. <laughs> hey, Vocal, my fella Al. Welcome, mate. Oh, here's another one. Hey, right. Uh, we've got a slide there, son. There's a there's a locked door there. Okay, a chair. Right, we've gone jump on that chair there. A tree. Oh right, we can jump on the tree. Okay, interesting. Uh, I don't like that. All right, enemies. Right, enemies stay in the same place when you come off the screen. Right, we've got off. So if you go off the screen and come back again, they're in the same place where you left them. Oh, here's another one. And there's a bowl. Ah, okay. There's a bowl. There's a bottle bank. Oh. But it, you can't put the bottle in it. Okay. I think we're safe here. From that insect or mosquito. Right. How you doing, my fellow Al? Welcome in. Welcome in. Right. Uh, they don't even make Argos catalogue now. No, they don't. Jet Set Jose. <laughs> You like the colours? It's very bright and colourful. Quite simple graphics. Now, from what I learned, uh, understood about this game, um, I translated this from Spanish to English. Okay, I've got to read this out. This game has been developed for the virtual work... No, sorry, this was a ZX Spectrum game originally. Okay. And this is what I translated. So, the Spectrum game. Uh, this game was developed for the virtual workshop... In quotes, knowledge of the natural environment and sustainability. I think this was like a competition organized by the Sayas Vinitas Cultural Association and the International Comic Fair of Huelva. I don't know where Huelva is. I think it's a town or city in Spain. Awarded with the 2014 Onabensis of the Year Award in Art and Culture. So apparently this got an award uh, for some competition, uh, perhaps for its environmental message, um, in that it's like teaching kids to recycle stuff. Okay. Okay. Um, perhaps. Um, oh, uh, perhaps if the coder is still in the stream, perhaps he would like to explain um, what what that was about. Maybe my translation is really bad from Spanish. Um, but basically, we've got to help this cute little girl, Chloe, find bottles and take them to their respective containers. Uh, but, the, but the park is full of biting bug, bugs and messy punks and hooligans. We can't pick up more than one bottle at a time. Um... And your task is to collect five empty bottles to deposit, deposit them in any of the glass containers. And you're going to throw out the hooligans out the park. Uh, and you've got to turn everything up across the park until you reach the exit, which is located at the, at the top of the park. Right, okay. So 40 minutes in and this is the first game. Yes, Johnny, you know how the am stream goes by now. Did you get the bottle? I did get the bottle... Um, I think the counter won't go from zero to one until you put it in the in a, in a bottle bank. Right, where's? Okay, so we won't. Maybe this is not not the right bottle bank. Let's find another bottle bank then, maybe. Mr. Mark Andrews, welcome, Mark. How you doing? Right, let's get very carefully past this B. Ah! Oh, there's one of those hooligans. Does this bee come all the way across? Yes, it does. Us. There's a bottle bank. 
Oh, he's not going in! Right. So that's two bottle banks. It won't go in. Right, I'm safe here. That B won't come all the way across. Okay. Right. So, hello, uh, OM Potpourri. It's OSG. How you doing, Old Star Gaming? Sounds like a simulator, simulator for my estate. This throw the hooligans out the park. Right. What's the What's the manual say for this then? Um. Hang on then. Oops. Uh, anyone speak Spanish? Right. These are the containers. Uh... That's one we... The, the black one we tried and the yellow one we tried. Uh... Who speaks Spanish here? Papel y carton. Is that is that a pa blue is paper and card? Ah, maybe you got to find the right container to put the glass. Uh, sorry, to put the glass bottle in. That blue is paper and card. What's fresh fresh on resto? Uh, hello, Pagazi. Hey, say, hey, Zypho. Uh, I don't speak Spanish. Vid vidrio equals glass. Oh, so we got to find the green one. Green one. So, Invasios Ligeros. Well, I don't know what that one is then. I just got from the vets. My poor little dog has a collapsed track here. Oh my god, I, I'll still gain him. I'm really sorry to hear that. What's the prognosis on, of that? Oh my goodness, I'm really sorry to hear that, OSG. Are they, are they keeping her overnight and doing an operation? Uh, Francis says he has to put the bottles in green containers. Right, okay. Invasius Ligeros is light packaging. Ah, uh, right, okay. I know what to do then. We've got to find the green containers. That's all we need to know then, basically. Right. We've got to find the green containers. We figured it out, Vocal. It's just that I can't read Spanish. Yeah, she's on steroids. I need to medic uh, medicine. Didn't prove why someone should go back in. Oh my goodness, OSG. I'm so sorry to hear that, dude. Mate. Mate. Oh. Oh, oh my god. I'm losing so many lives here. Oh my, ugh. Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh no, and that's a locked door there, so we gotta go back! Oh no, that's, that's not going to come back in time. Okay, we're safe here. Oh, <laughs> So it must be up a tree somewhere. Because, like, um, you've got those little platforms going, going up there. There's no way to get there apart from jumping from that platform, which must be from the tree. Right, oh god. Right, okay. Right. 
Oh my god, this... Oh, that's tough. Okay, there's a black one there. There's the green one! Okay, that... Let's jump on the Lucases. We'll call them Lucas. The hooligans there. Yes! The counter's gone up to one now. We have deposited a bottle. Right, I know what we're doing now. I know what we're doing. There's a bottle there. Trouble is, we've lost like an absolute ton of lives in the process. Let's jump on Lucas. There we go. Right, let's catch up with the chat there. So Nick Attack, welcome Nick. How you doing, mate? Welcome, how's it going? We've blown it, says Mike Gallon, but we know what we're doing now. We know what we're doing. Right, uh, Francis has given me a tip. First, you have to take a key that is up on the same screen. There is a blue container. At the start. Oh. We might have to restart and try again. But, well, it's not bad for a first go. We're, we're figuring it out. Via, welcome in via, via, via. Sounds like this is uh, growing up by Blink182. Bloody hell, there's a band I haven't listened to in many years. You just busted me chops, vocal. That's that's your job here, as always. Yeah, fingers crossed the little pop, I was G, as, as, as Jolly says there. Um, Is this the actual game music? Yes, it is, yes. Nice little uh, jolly little tune. Uh, Bahayon says, just about the shot. this looks great. Could pass for a little uh, Master System title. Yeah! Nice, simple little platformer. Uh, Mark Andrews says, oh, Sultan of Spain. 70 mins very slow, even back in the day. A top memory use. It's four and a half minutes for 48k program. Single load was Operation Wolf. It's definitely 30 minutes from tape as it was put. Fucking Operation Wolf! Like my t-shirt, Mark. I've got the Operation Wolf t-shirt on tonight. Wrecked, says Mike Gavin. I'm getting very wrecked in this game. Ten lives, though. Ten lives is pretty generous. Ah! That was sloppy. That was very sloppy there from me. Man, sure, we'll catch you back in a little bit. No worries, mate. It's position platforming. And uh, patience. That's it. Two out of five bottles done. Again, that was just sloppy. So was that. Whoa! I might as well do that bottle while I'm here. Patient, patient. I see a platform, the glorious mode naught. Indeed, indeed. Uh, this was a ZX Spectrum conversion, I believe, as well. Oh, for God's sake. No, 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 no. Be safe. No, 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 no. And yeah, this is a ZX Spectrum conversion as well. And. Francis has done it in mode naught. So thank you, Francis, for doing it in in mode naught. Hang on. Have I got a bottle I need to put in the green bin? Don't think I have, have I? Have I got a bottle to put in? I can't remember. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I need to go back and get that key, don't I? Let's see what's over here first. Oh, that was sloppy. Oh, hello. Oh. I had a bottle to put in, didn't I? I've only got three lives left. 
I did have a bottle to put in. Yaga. I'm a silly boy. I'm going to have to go back and do that bit again. Alright, okay. Got six lives. Seven. Oh, that's nine lives I got now. Oh, I could have jumped that. Okay. Yeah, top work, Sir Francis. We got the coder in the chat tonight, guys. Okay. Sorry, get a bit. Oh, get a bit tense there. Sorry. Okay, 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 okay. Gotta get across here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, okay. I think big jump, reckon. I've got the key. No, we needed to, oh, we needed to jump on that guy. Oh, I forgot. We need to we need to jump on that um hooligan. So we need to go back and do that again. Oh, and I lost a life doing that. Stupid boy. Stupid, stupid. I need to be more careful. Now we've got the key. We've got the key. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Them lives. Ah! Trust that one there. Okay, 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 okay. I want to jump over that B when it's coming back over here. Oh, that's unlucky. Five lives left. There's a bottle at the top here, isn't there, still? left a bottle at the top, didn't we? Unfortunately. Whoa. Let me get safe and I'll catch up the chat messages. Sorry, I missed a lot of chat there. I'm actually quite engrossed in the game, to be honest. Right, we're safe here. Let's catch up the, let's catch, catch, catch up the chat properly. Oh. Uh, um, Francis says, I would like to translate everything into English, but unfortunately I didn't have the time for it. Maybe in the future. Oh, if you need help with any English translations, um, feel free to like tap me up. I will help with any English translations for you. Um, so yeah, I'm always available. Um, DM me on Twitter, Facebook, um, I'm on Discord as well, uh, wherever you want to uh, grab me. Yes, I saw the English translation for um, Rigor Mortis. Yes, thank you, Francis. 
<laughs> Plenty of books in this game, I need them no variety. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice little tune, this. We're going, how, I think we're about maybe nearly halfway through the game, I would think. Uh, but controls are really nice, responsive, as always on Mojon Twin Games. Yes. Zombie Peaks, yes. Um, I know, Pete, not taking the snappy yet. I know, what's going on with me? If I get really far, I'm on my like last live. I might take a snappy. It seems we've got quite far so far, yeah. Uh, the year's 2045. Zypho has fallen down the tree for the six million cyber seven hundred thirty thousand time. Humanity's dead, but he isn't aware. He just wants to finish Chloe. <laughs> Music is growing on you, Chibi. Nice. None of your beers. Hello, mate. Welcome. How's it going? Welcome, mate. How's your week been? In this game, if the objectives are not met, when trying to leave the park, a metal gate prevents the passage. Right. You've got to get rid of all the hooligans that look like Lucas Rainford. <laughs> and get all the bottles done. Right. And hello, Coffee Cup Arcade! Welcome, my friend. Welcome. That was a tight jump. Yes! Oh, we got him. Now, that's a tough bottle bank to get to there. Do we go for that one, or do we go all the way back for the slightly easier one? I think we go back for the slightly easier one. Then again, that is slightly tough to get to. Can we get under this B? We can. We did it. Actually, this one was easier. Yeah. <gasps> no! Oh, you son of a... left. Oh no, not in it's this section. Do we get, is there any more bonus lives anywhere? No! No! Oh no! I can't get out! Francis, why did you put that in the game? <laughs> I didn't know that was, oh no. Oh, what a mistake as a maker. <laughs> Mrs. Zypho laughing at me there. You have to play more, you will get it. I think we're quite close there, actually, to be fair. Bloody hell. Oh. Hey, Darren, good evening. Oh, sod off, Mrs. Zypho. Chloe needs to learn to swear. <laughs> oh, coffee cup, that's awesome. Good for you, my friend. Good for you. Good luck on that restoration. We'll give it one more go. I think we know what we're doing, and we don't have to muck about too much. Oh, muck about too much. We'll come back and do that guy in a bit. Right. You had to rewind. Right, 
we'll start that again. You have to rewind to watch that smoothie, you monster. You're the monster. Okay, my fella Al, how you doing? Welcome. Ooh, 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 ooh. I want to drown her again. We did carelessly lose a few lives. Jump. Oh, we jumped on the Lucas. We jumped on another Lucas. How you doing, Smoothie? Right, got the other, got the other Lucas. Heart there until we need it, I think. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I wasn't taking a dump there. <laughs> I was just getting a bit tense doing that jump there. Right, we're, we're safe there. Catch up the chat there. There's something about just hearing the sound of an Amster that makes me happy. Oh, you missed the tape loading noises. We had to load this from tape earlier, Darren. That would have brought even more nostalgia back. It was funny, Francis. It was funny. It gave a good moment there on the arm stream. Right, there's the first bottle. We'll get. Oh, watch out. Ah, so sod. That was a silly mistake there. Bogger. That's two lives lost stupidly there. Oh. Oh, I've lost three lives. I'll carry on for now. Yeah, we need to get to the third tree, which isn't... Hem set ready in case Zypho flashes his chest. <laughs> I'm starting that again. I've lost too many lives. Right. Right, this run. Daddy must hate mosquitoes. Right, we'll just try that again. Wait for that bee to go all the way over to the left, I think. It's probably the safest thing. That's it. Jump there. Wait for that to go down. Over there. There we go. Right. If this is like someone's written a song, then just music. Uh, if that makes sense. Uh, not sure what you mean there. That was silly. I'll carry on. I'm not restarting from that. Make sure we jump all the way over to the right there. Uh, in case a B comes on us. Got him. Right, there we go. Let's move. Oh! Don't trust those mosquitoes. 
Can we get across this? No, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm going to wait. And the music man. Hello, music man. Welcome, my friends. How's it going? Roland did the bottle bank. This game is pretty solid. And those hearts there, I think they give you about three lives. I think they give you three lives. It is a very hard game. Don't inadvertently press the Y key, otherwise you commit suicide, the game will be over. I think escape key as well will do it. Hey, Andrea, no worries. You've got to call it, call it an early night. No worries. You've got an early start tomorrow. No worries, Lady Andrea. Take care, Andy. I'll see you soon. All the best to you and the family. Right, what we do here, get to the top of the ladder. Right there. Get the bottle. Get, uh, ah! That was the, that was the strat. I mean, I and mean, we mucked it up. Never mind. Psych no, get down, get down, no, get down. Get to the top of the ladder. Like there. There, there, you see there? That's where we want to be. Wait for the B to go. That's the idea. We get a safe spot. Find the safe spot. There. Strats. Strats. You sound in pain when you die. Well, duh. <laughs> right, I'm waiting for that B to start coming back. I'm waiting for that B to go. Start going. Oh! Oh! Up my bottle. We've already got one bottle already. Okay. Bell. I'm carrying a bottle at the moment. We'll get to the green bottle bang. There we go. Sorry, that one scared me there a little bit. Oh, that's unlucky. 15 lives. Nice. One in the bank. Oh no! Lost a life. Right, there's one up there. Do we go for that? Yeah, let's get that one done. Right, we're safe at the very top of the ladder there. <laughs> Mr. Mike Gammon! Thank you for the one pound, Mike. <laughs> Chloe, get Chloe some armbands. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Thank you. We have some bananas in the chat for Mike there. <laughs> Thank you, Mike, for the one pound there. Let's see the bananas in the chat for Mike there. Thank you, Mr. G uh, Mr. Gammon. Thank you very, very much. She might need them. She might need them. If we, uh, I might, what I'll do is, before we get to that place where we fell down and got soft locked and, well, died, the trap, I will take a snapshot just in case that happens again on this second run. Just in case. We will take a snappy if uh, before we get to that bit again. Okay, chat? So we don't have a repeat of that. I'll oh, refresh my view count. Okay. Just in case, just in case. Um, has a paint stripper not kicked in off yet, Pete? I'm sorry, mate. Never mind. What's this math? 
Pete's awake tonight. Late tonight. It's nearly 10. I know. He is. He's doing well. That's why the, uh, the paint strip hasn't kicked in. Right. Darren says, I'm a bit drunk, but struggling to understand what's happening in this game. But the music is chill. So, Pete, what we're doing, we're uh, it's, the full title of this game is Chloe Learns to Recycle. And she's picking up glass bottles and taking them to the right recycling bins. And they're the green bins. Um, and we have to take it out hooligans in the park along the way who will be dropping um, bottles. Um, we're calling them Lucas Rainfords. <laughs> it's drunk Lucases dropping their bottles of um, Terps everywhere. And <laughs> vodka bottles. Um, and we're going to take them to the green bins. It can only carry one at a time, though. That's the problem. That's the problem. Uh, the bot cloud, when he kills something, it looks like the Rolling Stones mouth tongue logo. It does a bit. It does a bit of vocal. Yeah. Right. Talking of drinks, what's everyone's drinking? What is everyone drinking tonight? Unfortunately, I'm on my usual course and press cloudy apple. I wish it was cider, but um, I can't get drunk. Bottoms up, chin chin. Everyone. Actually, I need to get another drink from the fridge. I'm, I'm just going to grab another drink from the fridge, guys. I'll be back in 20 seconds. 20 seconds. I'll be right back. Just get another drink. All right, okay. Uh, mods in my Discord. Um, I replied in the Discord channel, uh, mods. What uh, what was going on there? Anyway, welcome back, everyone. So what's, what, what's everyone drinking? Um, let's see. What we got then? Can't be, can't be Lucas. There are no Gregs in this game. <laughs> he likes a bit of, does he like a bit of Gregs? Al K's on the diet Pepsi. Darren's on the side. Oh, you're making me jealous. Mike's on the uh, H2O. Good man. I'm, I'm pretty much just drinking bottles of water these days, apart from the um, Force and Press Apple. Um, Robin Hook's on the Pepsi Max. Barry Carl have his spice rum and coke. Ooh, ooh, nice. Um, Mr. Watkins on the Jack and Coke. Dr. Pepper for Amasyth. Johnny Boy is on the mineral water of a twist of fresh lemon. <laughs> right, Johnny Boy. That's the funniest thing I've heard all night. Darren Cole's of the Strongbow Dark Fruits. Oh, oh. Uh, Mods of the Couple of Stellas and Vodkas. Oh. Mike's Eats Storter Becker Atlantic, Atlantic Ale. Nice. Wow. Wow. That's quite continental sounding. Um, Chiefy's only got a sip of gin left and might fall asleep soon. Oh, unlucky Chiefy. Mineral water, yeah, right. Retro and Lim. Hello, Steve. How you doing, mate? Welcome. And Edouard Berger. Bonsoir. Salut. Come on, savoir, Edouard. How you doing, my friend? Um... <laughs> White wine tonight. Excellent. Coffee cup. But the Pacifico beers in the fridge and kombucha. What's kombucha? What's kombucha? I've not heard of that. I imagine that it's on cold star staropramen. I don't know what that is either. Okay, Pete. Thank you. I've just seen the Discord, Discord messages. I keep a, I keep an eye on that. I'll keep an eye on that. Thank you. Thank you, um, Pete. Yeah. Um, 
Right. Uh, CDJ's on the wagon and Zeriki the Pepsi. All right. All right. Um, Elf Bar and Pepsi Max, 80s Retro Gamer. How are you doing, 80s Retro Gamer? Welcome. German, sorry to hear that, dude. I hope you feel better soon, mate. Cherry Vanilla, Dr. Pepper for Hey Han. <laughs> Retro Limbs on the Toilet Dock along with Pete. Oh, hang on. Pete's on the Paint Stripper, isn't he? Star Roperman. Star Roperman. Sorry, Mike. Sorry. Oh, Star Roperman is a Czech Pilsner Lager. Oh. Oh, so good. It's on the Lager Shandy. Nice. Nice. Lucas from Wigan. Home of the Pie. Of course. Of course. Right. Okay. Okay, let me just check something out very quickly and we'll get back to the game. Uh... Okay, okie okay, dokie. Okay. Right. Poor, poor Pete, B and Q ships at eight. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Cool. Right. Cheers. Cheers, mods. Cheers, mods. Right. Uh, Even old cracking open a Carlsberg. How are you doing, Paul? Welcome, my friend. Welcome. I've just cracked open. Unfortunately, a can of just apple juice, basically. All I'm, all I'm allowed to drink these days. Right, let's bring the volume down on this. Perhaps the music is li been a little bit loud on the stream. Sorry about that, guys. What are we doing? Oh, yeah, collecting this bottle and taking out Lucas in the Wigan Park. Bad Lucas. Did that, did, that get, did that go the other direction? It did. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Off to the green bottle bank. There it is. Oh, that was close. That was freaking close. Oh. Oh, that was... So close there. Ah oh, no! <laughs> After all that. Um, there's one bar left, top left. And there's one below. Should we get the one below? No. Let's get this one at the top first, because we'll have to come back. We'll drop down, and then we'll come back up again. I think that's a more efficient route. Go, go, go. Ready? Jump! Okay. The anxiety. I'm going to wait for that to come back. Um, Kirkland's toilet dog drink. <laughs> Why so sad, Vocal? What's up, Vocal? This is not a good one here. <gasps> oh. oh no! No, no! No, I'll get this one and do this one anyway. Arse! No, I think I was going to fall into the uh, B there. Ah, I mistimed that there. Alright, don't rush it. Just don't... Tricks this game is don't rush things. It's about timing and patience. 
Bogger. Says that, he loses two lives in a row there. Ask Biscuit, yes. But we're carrying a bottle at the moment, so let's get it in the bottle bank. Okay, good. This bit is a freaking swine. Good, we're safe here. Right, back up here. Oh! Ab abort! Oh! Oof! Okay. That's annoying that we fell all the way down, but at least we didn't lose a life. At least we didn't lose a life. <laughs> That's annoying. That's two lives just gone there. Mr. Paul Henderson! Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. That oh, nearly died there. Benry, how you doing, my friend? You've been, uh, hang on, if you remember correctly, you've been out for drinks this evening, haven't you? With the lovely Ellen? Is that correct? Oh, I'm aborting that, I'm aborting that. I think that was a wise choice there. How you doing, Benry? And hello, Ellen. How you doing? Oh. I think that's going to hit again. Yeah, that would have probably lost a life there. Just being extra cautious. Oh, you are kidding me! Oof! Mr. Lewis Waddington. Holy crap, Lou. With a fiver. Evening, AMS fans. AM squad and Zypho. I'm late to the stream thanks to my two smelly children that won't go to bed. <laughs> Can you please tell Lotto and Lewis Jr. to get to bed? Big 8-bit love to the lot of you. <laughs> Lewis! Mr. Lewis Waddington, thank you very, very much for the fiver, the five pounds. Thank you, my fellow Ams fan. Please tell Lottie, uh, Lottie and Lewis Jr. to get to bed. Right, Lottie and Lewis Jr., you're very, very lovely boys and girls, but it is time to go to bed. Be good. Do as your dad, mummy and daddy tells you to do. Get to bed. All right, time to go to bed. Night, night. Sweet dreams. Your mummy and daddy love you very, very much. But it's time to go to bed. Oh, off you go. Off you go. <laughs> oh, Lewis, thank you very, very much. I feel your pain. I feel your pain. <laughs> Bedtimes. Do what the Ewok says, kids. Oi! <laughs> Oi, Pete. Don't trust that man with the lollipops, either. <laughs> Actually, you can. He peeps lovely. He peeps lovely. Um, oh, hang on. What's this? Hey, eh? What's going on here? Another one from Wado? P.S. You made me and the wife seek counselling as she thinks I might be gay. What? <laughs> what's this? Hang on. That's not Lewis Waddington. That's not Lou. 
Hang on. That's not what Mr. Waddington. That's GP. That's Pat McNose. <laughs> Hang on. Pat McNose. GP, hang, hang your head in shame. That's that's you. That's not that's not <laughs> that's you posing as Mr. Waddo there. Yeah, I know that kind of came out a bit wrong actually, because Pete's lovely. Sorry, Pete. Sorry, Pete. <laughs> yeah. Didn't think that one through. Um Pete, GP, thank you, GP, for the one pound there. Apologies, Lou. He's he's been posing as people um recently. He's naughty, that GP. Thank you, GP. And Waddo, thank you very much uh, for the fiver there. Well, bananas in the chat for Mr. Waddo there. Or exclamation mark doggo. <laughs> Right, thank you, Lou. How's things with the family? How's things with the RK Club? A GP, thank you again. And, and especially for the dino the other night, mate. That was really, really kind of you, what you said and did as well, GP. Apologies, Pete. That did sound kind of like wrong, actually. So apologies, Pete. Sorry. Um... <laughs> Whoa! What's this? It's Waddo back with a pound. Jokes on you, GP. She already knows I'm gay. Oh! Oh my goodness. Back at you. Back at you, GP. Waddo back with a pound says, Jokes on you. She already knows I'm gay. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go, GP. Well, you got a chance of Lou then, apparently, GP. <laughs> Wow. Did not expect that. <laughs> what do you have to say to that, GP? There you go. There you go. Thank you, Waddo, for the one number one pound. Lou's been added to the hunk list now. <laughs> I thought he was already on it, GP. This is awkward for us innocent bystanders. Well, I know. We're just caught in the middle here. Lou, you've pulled. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're keeping well, Lewis. How sings in the arcade club as well? Right. Oh, love is in the air. Lou with some kisses for GP there. Hang on, what's over to the left here? Should we go to the left? Um, uh, Francis, should I go left here or what? will I fall to my doom? We want to go down here to the bottle bank. Go left. Bad things, the bottle bank is right underneath us and there's a bonus life underneath that as well. What's left? Ah, uh, you'll be alright. Go left, says Vocal. Go west. Da, 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 da. Hey, German. I hope the Germans disappear, German. Good night, mate. You need your booty sleep. Take care, dude. I don't know. Do you know what I'm going to do? Because to save time. First snapshot of the night. First snapshot of the night. Chloe. We're going to test it. Ah! P. And there was a death pit there. We needed the key. I'm not reloading though. I'm not reloading, P. So screw you. <laughs> Bottles in the bank. Bottles in the bank. And I've got some lives. Excellent. It's touched him there. Nice. Nice. 
No, I'm aborting that. Right, this is where we do need to take a snappy. Oh no! Ah, oh, oh, you... Oh, this... Taking the next snappy here. Six lives. Life's left. Oh, we're going indoors now. Right, got him. Got the last bottle. One key, one hooligan. And that hooligan there. We've got the last Lucas there. Without losing that life. We've got five lives. Is there any more bonus lives anywhere, Francis, in the game? Ooh. It's a very charming little platformer. Absolutely, Fenrir. Yeah. Die for drowning Chloe again. I hope not. I hope not. It was like meant to Zypho turned you gay like he has me. <laughs> GP. Right, we've got one bottle to return and then we need to escape the game. We have nearly done it. We have nearly done it. It's got to be super careful now. Snappy, taking a snappy just in case. I'm going to be patient. Patience. Hello, every whisper. Was close. I'm taking a uh, I'm taking a snappy there, just in case. Okay. Right. No, stupid boy. Sod. It's 
not gay if it's just for Zai. Yeah, <laughs> uh, GP, let me just like, what he means is every time he mentions me playing Cho. Cho. <laughs> Choenke. Oh god, I bloody fucked like. Actually, means he wants me to stream Stardew again. He apes for it. <laughs> you need bloody Stardew. Don't forget to deposit the last bottle in the green container, climb the tree, and come back up. Oh, right, we've done it. We've done it. Yeah, we've done that. Francis, are there any more hearts and extra lives in the game? We've got four lives left. I don't know if I can do it or not. Now you can go out the park and eliminate the last remaining hooligans. Go left. Any more bonus lives anywhere, Francis? Got the stream Ams Amswath on in the background tonight. I'm deep in the new Zelda. Hello, Claude. How you doing, Claude Rains? Your new, which video got copyright blocked in some territories? G um, if I drop here, ah, uh, uh, I know where it might get hit, so I need to do a bit of a jump here. No! You are freaking kidding me! Three lives left now. That was close. There's a life! A bonus life! <gasps> we didn't pick that one up earlier. <laughs> no! Stupid boy. Anna! Hello, Anna! Welcome. Where did you crawl out from today? Rises from the nearest sewer drain. Wow. This is Chloe Learns to Recycle. Cutesy new platformer. Bugger. Alright, okay, chat. Okay, okay. We need to get these bonus lives. Oh, awkward jump to do here. I'm nervous. That's why I'm screwing it up. Jump now. Three lives. They're extra. Five. I'll wait for the optimal time to jump on that lift. <laughs> No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Right, okay. Taking a snappy here, just in case. I don't know what's coming up next, so... Is this the exit to the park? I hope so. Alright, okay. Yes, that's good, that's good. Yes! Okay. Right, there's two Lucases to get here. Right. One down. We need to jump from about here. Can we get past this mosquito? Here we go. Um, inertia. Sorry, 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 Zofa. Does the character movement have a bit of inertia? Yeah, there is a little bit of inertia. There's a tiny bit of inertia on it. Um, Luke. Uh, sorry, um, Lewis. Yeah. So you should have been on the rum. No, I'm stone cold sober. Um, 
Or do we jump, um, uh, Vogue out? I'm stone cold sober. Do, I think we jump from here. I don't know. It's a big jump. Oh! Yes! Yes! Let's go! I think most of the guys here would rather wake up next to Zypho than many other guys. <laughs> I don't know about that, GP. I don't know. Is this game in complete utter bits? Why is this... Why... What? Well, how does this uh, have any reference to Top Hat Gaming Man retroly? What's what's the connection here? Uh, so, Lewis says, Solid platform in love the graphics of the character of... Oh, yes. Yeah, it's a great... It's a great little platformer, this. It is a great little platformer, this. Oh, my God. He's moving quick. Extra life up there. Can we get to it? Ready? Go. Oh! Look at that for timing! Come on! Come on, come on, chat. Some GG's there for that. Oh! Because it's called Chloe. Chloe's Lady Decker. Oh, I get it. My god, you're stretching there, Retro on Limb. <laughs> Thanks to the GGs. Come on, every now and again, I do something good. I do something good. <laughs> I like a bit of inertia, says Vocal. I tried to, to discover something to do to make me sweeter. I'm sure I wish you would rather wake up next to you than top back gaming, man. I'll let him answer that one, GP. No snappy required. We've had no reload. We've had no reload, but I'll take a snappy here anyway, just in case something goes wrong. <laughs> uh, I, uh, yeah. Oh, my vocal, what happened to you? Did you say a rude word in the chat? You did. Naughty vocal. All right, we must be near the end. Oh God. Lucas is back, and he's wrecked. Oh! Uh-oh. They start splitting up a bit more. They do. Bit of patience. There you go. That's all the Lucases! And there's a, bonus, there's a bonus life there as well! Ten lives. Oh god, there's a pit of doom there. There's a death pit there. Here we go. Oh, we did it. We did it. We did it. We lost, we lost a life doing it, but we made it across. I don't care. Don't care. Eight lives. That was a bit close. Nice. Oh, oh, oh! That, 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 that must be the final bit! Oh, oh, the final screen went off very quickly there. It said, what did it say? Felici Feliciandos or something like that. Hey, GG's. Oh, you should, um, Francis, you, sh you should keep the completion screen there for longer. There we go, GG's. That was Chloe. Learns to recycle. <laughs> we did it. Happy clappy little Ewok. I was clapping with the music. It was a nice upbeat little um, ending me song there. 
There we go. Congratulations, I'm very proud of you. Oh, hang on, what's this? <laughs> Captain Planet! <laughs> Who remembers Captain Planet? Bloody hell. I'll... This is my favourite new platformer of 2023. Great entertainment with a message, just like me and the Planeteers. The power is yours. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Planet. Thank you. Bloody hell, who remembers Captain Planet and the Planeteers? Yes. That was Man Shovel. Thank you, Man Shovel. Who remembers Captain Planet? Anyone remember Captain Planet? The environment, oh, the environmental, saving the planet superhero, his mullet. There he is. Oh, the chat's in the way, but it was on. It was a game on the Amstrad as well. Yeah, th there he is. His green mullet. I do. Green mullet for the win. Yeah, yeah. The power is yours. There we go. Oh, the Dancing Lord Sugars are in sync. Thank you, Man Shovel. Thank you. Thank you. I like the I like the jolly music there. I like the jolly music there. Anyway, that was Chloe. And if you want to get the game for yourself, you can download it here. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Pete, we've all enjoyed the memories. Hello, Flibble. Are you, are, you, are you remembering stuff like Peter Kay? And that was Pat Sharp's alter ego. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, let's have a little break from that for a second. So that was Chloe. That was Chloe. And we move on at last to the next game tonight. Not vexed. It's Rigor Mortis. And we'll get that loading up very shortly. You didn't like Captain Planet, but he did a good job. What of his mullet? His green mullet. Or saving the planet, yeah. Power of love. Um, fire, earth, wind, ice, and arse. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, great stuff on Chloe. But um, this, the next game, which which is also for the same author, is a much newer game, I believe, because uh, Chloe was made in 2014, I think, for the ZX Spectrum. And then was recently converted to the Amstrad. This game, Rigor Mortis, is a much newer game, I think. <coughs> Olé, says Francis. So, we all enjoyed that one. We're now going to throw in Rigor Mortis. Which, well, we had quite a... Um, um, what do you call it? Well, that was quite a cutesy game. This is the opposite of cutesy. Rigor Mortis, you play as Death himself. The Grim Reaper. Yes, and this time you're harvesting souls and taking them to heaven or hell or something like that. Uh, um, what happened with the Nightbot there, Every Whisper? Right. Okay. All right. Now I can't see it there anyway. Um, okay. We're going to get the game loaded up. But this uh, this one as well um, is only a tape file. Um, let's get that there. Right. Okay. So we'll do bar. T oh, let's do that again. Bar tape. Run. Play. Then any key. You ready? Tape load, tape loading noise time. Oh, hang on. El Captain Trueno. I'll let the tape play. Thank you, El, thank you, El Capitan Trueno. El Capitan, sorry, I apologise. 
Never mind that molleted miscreant. Let's get on to rigor mortis. Yes, we are. Oh, you, you took too long on that one. <laughs> we already are. <laughs> thank, you, uh, thank you, El Capitan Trueno. Which was Man Shovel again. Thank you, Man Shovel. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Pumpkins in the chat for Man Shovel. Um, yes, we're loading, loading up right now, Man Shovel. Thank you very, very much. Cheers, Man Shovel. Spooky Zypher ghosts hovering around going, all right, guys. Ooh, what's that about, Flip? <laughs> I don't wear my cap in bed. No, I don't magic night. No. I won't be buried in it, no. I don't think so. <laughs> GP hopes Zypher will get rigor mortis on his willy. Oh my goodness. Bloody hell. Tch. Right. Oh, those tape loading noises. I should have timed out how long this takes to load, actually. I'm sure the first game took less than one... What was it? About one minute, 30 seconds to load. I mean, that was, that was pretty damn fast. That was pretty damn fast, the first game. Okay. Fresh to the account there. Bagazi reckon Captain Planet looked like Joe Elliott in his prime. Oh! There it is! There we go. It's loaded. There we go. Oh, Francis says, Rigor Mortis is a computer game based on a comic book character by the same name featured in the Muchochumi fanzine published by uh, Association... Cultural Six Vinitas and Citizens of the Year Award in Arts and Culture 2014. Oh, right, thank you. Okay, so um, so this is um, uh, this this game is based on a character in a Spanish uh, fanzine, right? Excellent. Okay. It's by the same author, Alke. It's by the same author. He's in the chat right now, Alke. Francis PF is the author of this game. He's in the chat, so if you've got any questions for him. The first game was a specky port, Flibble. I don't know if this one is. A... Nice music. I think it's based on a cl famous classical piece, this music. One second. Question, do you like red heat? <laughs> You're asking the code of that. <laughs> I like it over my balls. Good lord. Exotic Geet! Hello, Exotic Geet. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Alright, rigor mortis. Oh! Get it from the archive.org website. Uh, again, I, I put the link in the chat earlier. I'll just put it in. Didn't deny it. I've never tried it. I've never tried it, Mr. Watkins. <clears throat> right, here we go. Ah, there we go. You are deaf and you must take the patient souls to the afterlife before they get healed and survive. Oh my god, that's quite dark. Jesus. Crazy doctors and hysterical nuns, oh god, I hate nuns, among others, will try to prevent you from reaching your goal. If you've ever dreamed about impersonating the Grim Reaper, this is your game. Bloody hell. 
That's pretty dark. Ah! Um, where's the manual? I think I've got the instructions here. All right. Hang on. If we just move over to this. Uh, uh, let me just take the live chat off here quickly. Right. Your mission is to collect the... You can see this at all. Um, sort of in the way here. Your mission is to collect the souls from three patients, one in a room in a building, one in a convent cell, and one finally in a hospital operating room. Uh, and lead them to the afterlife, dropping them in the soul tank located at the top of the map. Right, okay. Patient's health counter starts at 1, and you lose the game when it reaches 16. So, like, lives operate um, backwards. Uh, I'm sort of... My chair's in the way here. So... Oh, I can't see that. Enemies. Nuns. Okay. Doctors. Hearts. Stay away from them. So hearts do the opposite here. And syringes are evil. Item souls. Right, you've got to collect these souls. Pick up more than one... At, you can't pick up more than one at the same time. They'll be added to soul counter and you succeed to in three souls in the soul tank. So you've got to find these souls and then drop them in the soul counter. So similar gameplay to the first game. Collect one, you need to collect one of these at a time and drop them in the soul tank, which is at the top of the game somewhere. Locks, keys, okay. Be careful because you may run out of keys. Ah, so there'd be more locks than there are keys. Okay. If I force them into the wrong locks, you'll be wasting them. You can, might get stuck in the game. Okay. There's more locks than there are keys, so watch out for that. There's moving platforms. And there's black hearts. These are your allies, and they are diseased. Grab them. That, that counts two health points. Right, for yourself. Right, okay. Oh, the menu music is Marla. Hunter's Funeral. Ah, so it's a classical piece. It's Hunter's Funeral. And in-game music is Shopping Funeral March. Right. Okay, okay. There you go. That's where the music is from. Hunter's Funeral by Marla. And in-game music is Shopping. Shopping? 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 Funeral March. There you go, chat. There you go. Mr. Matt Myers. Hello, Matt. How you doing? Yeah, we'll do game requests in a bit. Don't worry. We're going to do some game requests later if you're around still. Again, Exotic Geese, House Tricks, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Um, what about nuns on the run? Nuns with the runs. Right. Cosplay Katie Hopkins, the Grim Reaper. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. You had the hots the flying nun as a kid. What's the flying nun? I don't know what that is, man, the shovel. I certainly didn't like... I did not like nuns. I went to a Catholic primary school as a kid, run by nuns, as most of you know. But this is a simpler game than Chloe. You only have to take three souls to the afterlife. Maybe we can beat this one as well. Mm. We'll start this in just a second. Catch up the chat quickly. Anna farts into a bucket. Anna! He farted the nuns for me. I don't know if this sounds anything like Vera Jacker, but okay. <laughs> Runs on the nun is more X rated. Oh my god. Right, okay. Blues Brothers nun scene equals Zypho's childhood. Pretty much. Pretty much close to it. Quite close. Blind Nun is a 60s TV show that ran in syndication. Never heard of it. I don't think it made it over to the UK. Oh my god. Oh! It kicks in. Oh, I like the music actually. Oh, so I'm the Grim Reaper there. And there's a nun, and there's a doctor. So nuns must be lethal, doctors must be evil. So we're outside a hospital, I think?
Right, avoid the love hearts. Oh, God. Right, I'll let you into a little secret, guys. I had a little look at this earlier, and I had a look at the map. So... Uh, I, I had a little look about where to go... Earlier. I think it's a jump to the left. Yeah. We don't want to get that black heart first. Ah, we needing a key. There's a key we need to get first. No, 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 no. Jump over the spikes and over the doctor. And we got our first key. The key was just there. We just ran into it and the key counter has gone up to one there. Set a night. Based on this banging. Nice tune. Two nuns in the bath. But where, is that a joke? Is, gonna ha uh, is that a, leading on to a joke magic night? Dr. Shipman. Oh, God. You and your bloody... Serial killers and oh god, let's not. Uh, wait, where's he? Where are you gonna go with that retro limb? None of your business. God, that was close. I don't think we want to collect the black heart because our counter is at one out of sixteen. So if you look at the bottom status panel. Our health is at 1 out of 16. As I take damage, the counter will go up. And if it reaches 16 out of 16, it's game over. It's like the counter goes up rather than down. Do you know what I mean? So your life counter goes up rather than down, if you know what I mean. It works the opposite way. Uh, next to it, souls. We've collected 0 out of 3 souls. And we've got 1 key. That's a status panel. So, how the lives work, the patients get healthier. Whereas, like, we're trying to kill the patients. It's kind of a sick game, really. I worry about Francis. Uh, uh, Francis says, I created the music of uh, WYZ Tracker, and they are modern versions of classic songs. This sounds really good, actually. Oh, that was unlucky. Oh, look. See, the life counter went up. The 2 out of 16. Right, we want to jump when that second heart is moving down. Right. There. That's what we want to do. That's it, that's the first soul. Ah, oh, look, see that patient that's in bed there. He's got the doctor of the nun protecting him. My god, we just harvested our first soul. I'm sexually attracted to Trista Bites' parrot. Should I seek help? Oh my god. Well, I don't know if it's an improvement over being sexually attracted to ferrets. But, um, yes. Yes, you probably should. Um, jeez. And uh, it's not even a real parrot. It's it's an, an animatronic toy parrot. So, uh, you should seek lots of help. Um, right, if I remember, probably, f oh. Yes, I remember there was like a, there was like a wall here. So I needed to fall over the wall. Okay, right. We'll get over this nun. Uh... No! Oh no, not spikes! Freaking spikes. Oh no, not gonna do that. Oh no! Oh, it's like that water jump from her, from their last game. Ah, 
And there's the death pit. In Francis. <laughs> A hospital. Oh. There's a lock there, but look, you can get around the lock by going the top route, which is more difficult. To me, that seems like a waste of a key. That would be a waste of a key. I reckon you got to go the harder way. And I think if you stick to the far left, that heart is not going to touch you. Yeah, you're safe there, aren't you? It's not that hard to get by. You just gotta just take it just takes longer. If you stick to the, like the the far edges there. There you go. Yeah, don't open the lock. There you go. Just be patient. Just be patient. Okay, good. Right, there's a... Hang on, look. There's a lock up there. There's a key... Over the far right there. Right, let's just... We could chill here just for a second and catch up the chat. Right, okay. Repo, Ma Repo Man is one of my fave movies. Hey, Hon. Yeah, so we had the chat recommend that to me a while back. And me and Mrs. Zypho watched that. We kind of watched that in kind of like stunned disbelief like what the fart is going on in repo man i i, I kind of liked it mrs zypo didn't um i still still a bit like what the fart did we just watch kind of movies i think if you watched it in the 80s you would have kind of like loved it more then and look kind of like grown up with it you would have if you, you would have loved it more watching it in the cold light of 2023 it's a bit i don't know if it like holds up as well but like if you watched it and grew up with it you'd you it, it, it would have you would love it more if you know what i mean repo man what a movie <laughs> right uh Amasai, um take care Amasai. good night my friend have a, thank you very very much mate you have thanks i'll try i have a great stream cheers mate have a great weekend take care dude Reaper's work is never done. Yeah, the Emilio Estevez film. Repo, man. Yes. I want to go to the left. Yeah. Stakeout is better. Harry Dean Stanton. Yeah. I was surprised of, uh, I was surprised as hell to see him in... I've been watching um, Twin Peaks and getting through Twin Peaks. I've been watching that for the first time. Whoa, what a TV show. Holy crap. Why didn't, why didn't anyone tell me how good Twin Peaks was? I'm currently through, halfway through season three, and I'm like, oh my god, it's freaking amazing. I was, I was surprised to see Harry Dean Stanton in Twin Peaks, and a loads of other people. Wow. I am loving Twin Peaks. Oh, bonus lives here. Oh, there you go. You'd be even more confused the movie Straight to Hell as the same director. I'm going to go on a David Lynch um, uh, fest um, after, once I finish Twin Peaks. No spoilers about Twin Peaks, please, in the chat. But um, holy crap. I love Twin Peaks. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I'm binging it at the moment. No! No! No, 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 no. Oh, crap. 
Yeah, I've done Firewalk with me. I watched the first season, the second season, and Firewalk with me. Well, I could have gone there. And now I'm on season three. The the twenty when it came back in 2017, 2018. And I watched the fan edit version of Fire Walk with me as well. Oh, losing lots of lives here. Man, I've got to go all the way around here. I need to read the diary of Laura Palmer. There's like a book I need to read. Is that an official book or something? Blue Velvet was a good movie. Is that a, is that a David Lynch movie? Is that any connection to um, Twin Peaks? It's just like a separate movie. The new Twin Peaks was too weird for you. <laughs> I, lo I love the weird. Wow, this is a lot of... Oh, that, this was a lot of backtracking here. Oh, he just nicked me there. Game was a bit hard. Yeah. Position jumping here. Uh, I have the Laura Palmer Diamond. Yes, official cipher written by David's daughter, Jennifer Chambers. Ah. I grew up with Twin Peaks cipher. I watched it live from ages 12 to 14. Oh, I'm so jealous. I wish I watched it growing up as well. Hey, on says, big David Lynch fan here. A Razorhead is probably my fave movie ever. Oh, was a Razorhead David Lynch? Oh, I wasn't aware. I did try to watch that when I was quite younger, and I got about halfway through and think I gave up. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm ashamed to say. Zypho will be on Tales from the Unexpected next. What does that mean, Johnny? Is that a Lynch thing? Maybe I should give it a try again. Twin Peaks was really weird for me when it was out back in the day. I'd give it, an, give it another try. It's not for everyone, Jolly. You have to start right from the very beginning, Series 1. And it was not too weird, to be honest. It gets very weird later on. I've not seen June before. Right, I need to concentrate here. Right, where do I... I might just take a snappy here just to save a little bit of time. So hang, let me rigor mortis stream one. Am I jumping left here or to the right? At jumping right here seems that's too far of a jump. In fact, I can't get high enough. So it must be a jump to the left. I've not seen you, no. Whoa! Mr. Dare about the reaping. <laughs> Mr. Dare. Hello, Mr. Dare. It was the salmon moose. <laughs> it was the salmon moose. From Monty Python and the meaning of life. I love that. I, used, I had a sound clip of that. On my old Windows 90, uh, 95, or it might be Windows 3. No, it's Windows 95 PC. I said I had this. I had this, me and my friends at school used to, to get all the uh, these sound clips, and that we were obsessed with like sound clips from Army of Darkness, um, Brain Dead, Peter Jackson's Brain Dead, and Monty Python movies, and one of them was. Salmon moose. I remember that. And we'd just get them on Windows uh, and we'd have sound clips and we'd have them as startup sounds and errors and all that. And I remember Salmon Moose was the error sound on our all on all on our Windows PCs. <laughs> Sorry, that just brought back memories. 
Thank you. That was Man Shovel. Thank you for the dono, Man Shovel. Did anyone um, have um, good times replacing default Windows sounds with sound clips back in the day on Windows 3.1 and Windows 95? I had. I had, I had good times doing that. What episode are you on in season three? Have you finished the episode? I think I'm on episode twelve. Just think, I think I just finished episode twelve. I think so. No spoilers. Yes, it's Mr. Creosote. Yeah. Yes, imagine that like, you did the same. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think I had come get some from our, uh, from Evil Dead Two as my uh, when Windows had just booted up. And so forth, and uh, <laughs> come get some, yeah, and all that. When Windows started, and God knows what other sound clips. But when we found out you could change like sound, the WAF, put WAF sounds as like default Windows noises and stuff. It was like open season of silliness on Windows. I also had a Frank Butcher sound bank in Worms. Did you? That's awesome, Magic Knight. I had like a thousand different themes of different sounds. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent, Alkai. Okay. Hey, Ghetto Crew. Thank you, DJ Justy, for the resub on Twitch the other day as well. Welcome, uh, Ghetto. Welcome, welcome. We had a huge theme CD for Windows 95. Hmm. Or is that bad taste? I love the brain soup in Brain Dead. I think that was bad. That was bad taste, Jolly. The one before. The, basically, the gross hour horror movie before. Um, Brain dead from Peter Jackson. That was funny as well. Bad taste was damn funny. Yes. It was slow going in places, but like, uh, but yeah. Oh, um, Brain Dead. What was the sound clip I had from Brain Dead? The vicar, the Kung Fu vicar was fighting the zombies. I kick ass for the Lord. If, you remember, if anyone remembers Brain Dead from Peter Jackson. That was the sound clip I used in Windows 95. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Right, I think it's, it's going to be a jump to the left here. Did I take a snappy? I think I did. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. It was. Right, that, le that top arc goes all the way over to the left. Oh Man Where the frick do we go now? Uh It's gotta be a jump to the left. It's Chopin's Death Funeral March, isn't it? But it's kind of a remix. Leap of Faith. Must be. Afterlife! There we go. Oh my god. Much needed health and life there. Oh, we made the jump. I think we're in heaven. Bloody hell. Soul tank. There you go. One, one soul has been returned. Right, we've done one out of three. Fucking hell. Welcome back, OSG. Has anyone seen Bad Boy Bobby? No. Name vaguely rings a bell, Magic Knight. The exploding cow. I think it was an exploding sheep, wasn't it, Anna? It's like a freaky was an exploding sheep. Ah. Uh, Matt Mike says, no, I will not, Zypher. I won't make any references in case anybody hasn't watched the show and wants to. Yeah. No spoilers, no spoilers. I'm freaking love. I'm loving Twin Peaks, mate. Really loving it. 
apart from one episode where, like, there's a kid that gets unnecessarily, it was like unnecessarily killed, and I was like, it's just put me off watching because I just like, I've got kids and it's just like, oh. Anyway, never mind. A jump to the left. Surely you now there has to be a jump to the right. I move your hips in time. Hello, Mr. Robert Berry. He's doing the time warp right now. Rob, how's it going, mate? I'll see you at some point tomorrow night for that for that gig. But I'm a bit annoyed about the show times. I, I'm going to miss a lot of FM. Ugh. Um, If you've seen the set times. Anyway, how you doing, Rob? Welcome, welcome. Right, let's get let's get ro let's get moving. It's down here. Whoa! Oh, a key. Well, that was lucky. Oh bloody hell! There's a nun chasing me on the roof. Bloody hell! That was lucky. We got the key there. Oh no! You don't have to, mate. You don't have to, Rob. Not ro not a Rock City prices anyway. Oh my god, Francis, you said actually go to the hole on the first hole on the left. Lucky I did. That was lucky I did. The hell. I didn't see your message there. Richard O'Brien is indeed a freaking legend. I think we need to get those health, those two black hearts, before we move on. Right, okay. Let's get let's get them. One up there. You can't get to it. You have to go this way, if I remember correctly. And use the lift to get to it. Ready? Otherwise, you hit your head and you fall into the spikes and die. Right, second, our life's down. That is annoying. After all that. God. No! Oh, man. After getting my life's but health back, I've lost it all already. And I've lost it completely. Oh, it's not ready. Kind of started back at the beginning here. Yeah, David. We went to get... We were hoping we could get those hearts, black hearts, get our health back. But, um... We did. But then we lost them all again. Oh, God, it's this bit. Instant death pit, which we did okay. I'm gonna take a snappy here. That bit is just horrible. <laughs> That's a horrible bit. Don't use the key there.
wait, I think. I think I'm gonna... No, I don't like the timing of that. Wait, 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 wait. We'll do it now. I don't know if I should use the key yet. There's that upper section. Oh, there's that upper section to do. Uh, you remember? There's an upper section there. And the reason. Actually, I'm safe here. I can definitely pause. The reason why I've not opened the down downstairs area is I remember seeing there's a lock there and there's a key there. And that that's given I think that's a clue saying if you open this lock here, there's a key waiting for you there. And I think that's a clue. Pretty good game this, like. Yeah, it is OSG. I'm liking this. It's bloody hard. It's bloody hard. Dot cock strikes again. <laughs> the only thing is, we've got to get past this heart here. And I have no idea how we do it. I think we do it from underneath. Like, here. Oh my god. That's how we do it. Oh no, I timed it wrong. Close. That was freaking close, but we did it. Taking a save here. There is a heart to dodge in those. <laughs> oh, uh, Francis did say go upstairs. So I've done the right thing. I did the I did the right thing. But nuns are great in this. I need to keep that door there. There's a key there as well. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Health. Excellent. There's a key there we need to get. Uh-oh, horrible spikes. Okay. Oh, you have to work your way around here. Okay, I see. I see. Taking a snappy. Cut this up. Oh. Saving it there. Oh. I see. We've got to work our way back here. I see. I see. Ah. That's annoying. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Uh, death should not be rushed. Indeed. They look like they're in Sinclair C5. <laughs> Zypho is the owner of a lonely heart. Aww. I'm not lonely. 
Did you check his trousers? It's in his trunk. Oh, oh dear, my shovel. Go in here. All right, I think we've just gone into a church. Okay, so we got, we're got we on seven of 16. So we've got one, two, three, eight, nine. Okay, we've got nine lives, essentially. But how, how close does this nun get? Right, the two nuns don't come all the way over. Ah. How do I time this? Oh, Jesus. Oh, piss flaps. There's another key. There's two keys there. No! Oh, for God's sake. Just go. Go up. Oh, no. Another life lost. Sixteen. No! Oh, it came down. Oh, fourteen of sixteen. We might have to do a reload on this. of 16 we're nearly dead there's the next patient as well I, I don't know how you get past this heart we jump over it yeah you jump over it God, the jumps here are insane. How do you know where that heart is? The patients have been healed. You failed. Oh, my God. Bloody hell. I mean, I don't have time. I don't think I've got time to go back to the start on this one and do another run from the beginning. So we will do a reload here. The jersey is perhaps the most complicated part, but you have to be patient. It's not impossible to achieve. I don't think it would be impossible. It would take a lot. It would take practice, definitely. The GGs. Is it a boy or a girl? Well, don't you think it's a bit early to be posing gender roles? Oh, what's that from? I recognise that quote, man shovel. There's always a way to pass without being touched. You have to be patient and study the enemy well. Exactly, Francis. I think I'm rushing this. I'm not analysing. I agree. So, where did we get to? This is the start of the church. We'll try the church again. Alright. Try that again. Oh, okay. We'll skip that. Let's try that again. Oh, I jumped into the cross. That stopped, stopped my jump there. Some words get uh, words. Did some words get blocked there? Penis is allowed. Yeah, I think penis is allowed. Hmm. Let's try that again. This is a difficult screen because you've got to, the cross will block your jump as well as that yellow and yellow building. 
So if you to get through this room about losing a life, it's a real difficult one. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll skip this room. This room should be too hard. There, that's easy. That's easy. God's sakes. Oh, I need to do that one without losing a life, but never mind, never mind. Oh! You know what? I'll just save up there. Save up there. Right. Go on, reload it from here. Carry on, let's carry on. Ah. Oh, we did it. All right, we'll take it from here. This is the this is the one where I'm losing um, lives then. Mad shovel, naughty boy. Get some. Some of your rude words will get through because you're a moderator. So if you're a moderator of Spanner, I think your naughty words will get through. Now this bouncing heart on top of the yellow. I don't know what that yellow thing is. Uh, prayer room or something. I think we have to jump over it. That's the only way you can get over it. Stifers really face these fears like by playing a nun character. You're a very brave sir. I'm not playing the nun. I'm playing the Grim Reaper. But I am facing off against nuns. Right, so we jump. Ah. Oh! Poop. And I fell off. I'll get back here. Yes! There we go. Now, big jump over here. Now, this one sucks because we don't know when we jump out onto the next screen, the platform, there might be a red heart that's like all on across the platform as we jump onto it. So we don't know if we're about to lose a knife or not, but... Oh, well, we'll find out. No! Oh! All right, done it. Don't forget, there's a black key over. There's, there's another key over here. Those of you observant, there's another key there. Right, we've got the two keys. God. Barrymore's here. Is he having a pool party? Oh, God. I've got a fresh one for Mr. Death. Tell him to bring a fishing rod. Everybody, yeah, yeah. Ewok party, yeah, yeah. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Who's posing as Mr. Barrymore there? <laughs> Jesus. Thank you. Um... Who's that? That could be anyone. That could be anyone. Retro on limb. Man shovel GP. Vocal. Who knows? <laughs> uh, that's Mad Shovel. Thank you, Mad Shovel. Posing as Barrymore there. Bloody pool parties. Fresh on for Mr. Death. Tell him not to bring a fishing rod. <laughs> Thank you, Man Shovel. Pumpkins in the chat for Man Shovel there. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. 
Thank you, man, Shovel. Posing as Barry Moore there. Um, are you actually a Sunderland fan, OSG? If so, go Sunderland. Uh, is that just really? F uh, yeah, sorry. Your chat is turning into a South Park episode. I know, I've seen it. They're all testing naughty words. <laughs> I'm trying to ignore it and hope it goes away. <laughs> I also want to do churchgoers have bad wind. Is that why they're called benches in church pews? <laughs> you want to do some strange things, vocal. Uh, I don't think that's why they're called that. There's all yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell. Minge got through. Is this chat family friendly? It, uh, yeah. He can, he, can, he can stretch the boundaries a little bit. <laughs> I don't mind so much. Um, bloody hell. Uh, you are a strange guy, Vocal. Bless you. Bless you, Vocal. Um... <laughs> We've got through. Um... Thank you, Retro. Uh, thank. What was I going to say? Thank you, Man Shovel. Right, we're nearly there. Got one more, what one more soul to take here? I think we're safe down here. We are. Okay, you ready for sky? Ah, and that's where the key was. There we go. Right. Ooh. Oh God, I nearly touched him there. Oh. Now we've just got to get out of the church. Oh my god, that was close. No! Oh, for fart's sake. No! Got touched again by a nun. Now we've got to go take the soul to the soul tank at the top of the thingy, aren't we? She's over here. Freaking hell! I remember this. No, no. Oh, God. About to lose my. Ah. Touched by none. I saw. I see a movie or a lawsuit there. <laughs> I'd rather be touched by a nun than a priest, I suppose. I was whacked by a nun at school. People pay good money for that these days. Thought I was going to lose a life there. Is there no way to get back over there to that right side? No, you can't reach it. Damn. Um, you go for that retro name if that's what you're into. Hello, Velo. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, Mr. Dave Velociraptor. Yeah, I know. What a sentence to drive in on. Ah. Uh, you can't quite get back there. That's annoying. 
and we're back at the start. Oh no, there's an angry nun. Nuns! Ark! Back ass nuns! Don't need to father jack. So we've got to go through all this. Oh no. Go. Oh no, oh, no, you gotta get over that wall, haven't you? How you doing, Velo? I ho hope you're doing okay, buddy. Making sure I wasn't gonna get hit there. Oh, we're gonna go all the way around here. No! Oh, man. Every hit counts at the moment. 12 of 16. Freaking hell! Fourteen, sixteen. Well, I think we're gonna have to snapshot reload this, lads and lasses. I don't think there's any more health reloads anywhere. Fifteen of sixteen. We're screwed, lads. I think we are screwed. Let's take a snappy here. Hang on, what happened to the nightbot there? Nightbot is useless. GP got oh dear, what happened to the GPs? Wax got stuck oh wax got what hang on. Wax got caught by the nightbot. Wow. GP got rumbled. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nuns, reverse, reverse. Ah, oh, the Willy song from Monty Python. Very, I like that one. GP suffering injustice from the night part. <laughs> After everything else got that written in the chat, that's what he got um, told off for. Right, I've got one life left. This, oh god, it's this section. Patients have been healed, you failed. Oh god. Let's see this out. Might as well. We've come this far. Ooh, that was close. I mean, how the far am I supposed to do this bit? But... Oh, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Right, we've got two keys left. I don't think we use the key there. Stupid. Why did I do that? Sorry about that, chat. Oh, for God's sakes, I'm rushing it there. Sorry, guys. Take your time. Take your time. Oh, hello, Zoe. Hello, Game Hammer. How are you doing? I've only got to go to the operated room and collect the last soul. I know. We're very near the end. We're very near the end, chat. That's why I've kept going. Uh, 
Well, this looks like an interesting game. It, it's rather dark and disturbing. We're playing Death, the Grim Reaper, collecting souls of dying patients and taking them to the afterlife. Take a snuffy here, quick. I right, open the door. There you go, last key and the last door. If you waste that key on that um on that F F entrance underneath the, the bit we had to climb around, we would have wasted the key. Ah! Quick reload there. You didn't see that. You didn't see that chat. Ass. God's sake, Sal. God. Oh, come on, Al. What are you doing? Plain as death, collecting souls, good, clean, fun. Absolutely. The first game from the same author, Chloe, you would you would like as well. That was good, clean, fun. But it was it was like a lesson in um, recycling. Actually, you had to collect bottles from a park, take out the um, fogs dropping the bottles everywhere, and take them take the bottles to recycling bank. Ah! Sorry, guys. I, I'm 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 losing my concentration. I think because it's getting late. But um, come on, Zai, Jesus. Mm, sorry. I don't know why I can't do that one. Come on, Zai. I know. I know, Zoe. I know. I think I think I've lost a lot. I've lost it. I can't believe I'm getting this wrong now. Come on. I think this deaf guy you're playing as is a Tory. Keying off the NHS. <laughs> oh, hey, Henri. Take care, Henri. Good night. Thanks for being here tonight, Henry. Bonsoir, bon nuit. Take care, Henry. Have a great weekend, my friend. Right, come on, Zai. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Want him when he's... Ah, he turns around quicker than you think he does. Take care, Henry. Have a great weekend, my friend. See you soon. <laughs> GP! Are you the GP in this game? What's this? Xiphobin band, can't chat, think Nightbot has won an N. And Johnny Boy really loves Stardew Valley. <laughs> Have you actually been banned? Who's that? That's actually GP, Mr. Pat McNoles. I don't think you've been fully banned. No, it's what no, you're there! You're there in the chat. Oh, let me check the logs. Hang on, how long did you get a ban for, Pat Bick? It's only usually like about, um... I don't know. Well, you're there. You're there. You're back. Are you, are you going to stick with us, Pat Mick? Thank you for the one pound, Pat Mick. I'm sorry what happened. 300 seconds. All right. What, uh, is that, is that, five, is that five minute? Hang on, 300. 
Oh god, yeah, you got you got a five minute ban. What the hell did you type? No, don't ban no, don't ban him, OSG. That's a five minute ban. Holy crap. What on earth did you write in the chat to get a five minute ban? Yeah. Right, I'll just take a snapshot here, save a bit of time. Wait for him to come back about there. Hey! Finally! No! <laughs> Alright. Alright, that's good. That's good. That's good. Oh yeah, we need to take it out. It uh, top here. Okay. Oops. It's time to jump. Ow! 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 Okay. Take a snappy here, quick. Ryan's have hit Zypho. Oh, really? Be quiet in this when you're also effing pompous and none of you got any balls. Is that what he said? Is that <laughs> Good lord. Ban Matt for trying the no you card on me. <laughs> you gotta find me bad for attempting to become Nightbot. <laughs> he wrote Ferret Lives Matter. <laughs> GP is a rude vimster. Oh my god. M multiple offences. <laughs> oh, was it because he admitted he was in love with a um, animatronic parrot? It might have been that. It might have been his parrot love. I don't know. Hey, Lucas. Welcome, Lucas. How you doing, mate? Welcome, Lucas. Oh, I've just seen your DM. I've just seen your DM, actually, Pat Mick. Sorry, dude. I've just seen it in Discord. You're back, though. You're back. Are you okay now, GP? Are you back, GP? Oh, no! He's been banned! Has he been banned again? Oh, no, you're back. You're back. Hang on, I see, I see him type in the chat. Right, okay. Sorry, <coughs> sorry everyone. <clears throat> everyone else just watching, trying to watch a game being played. He's back. He's back. Lucas. Um, in the previous game, you, uh, you, you appeared in the previous game, Lucas. We're taking out hordes of Lucases. Believe it or not. I'm going to take a snappy here because I'm unlikely to lose a life here. The last life. Yes. We named the, the vicious gangs we, are, uh, we were facing against in the last game after you, Lucas. We were in a we were in a park in Wigan, and there was loads of views dropping uh, bottles everywhere. Yeah, we have to rewind and have a look. Anyway, never mind. Black Duke, hello, Black Duke. Welcome, mate. For fart's sake, so I was doing really well there, and I lost concentration. Oh, I think I'm getting the hang of this though. Oh, look at that. There you go. Look at the skills there. Taking a snappy there, though. Almost there. Almost there, Francis. Yes. Oh. He got a warning. Was it a warning he got there, GP? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Bless GP. Always causing trouble wherever he goes. Here we go. The soul tank. You ready? There should be an ending here, I think. Hey! Congratulations. Now you can enjoy some well-deserved holidays. I'm going to put... Uh, hang on. There you go. Just I'm just going to pause it there because sometimes the last game, the ending picture went all too quickly. There's death on a rubber duck digging. <laughs> Having a holiday. There you go. We we got to the end. We had to do some snapshots though on this one. To be fair, it is late. I got tired. Yay! Oh, there you go. It did go rather too quickly there. Uh, this one was rigor mortis. It says there, Lucas. <laughs> I think I'm getting the hang of this. It's a bad thing to say. It's almost as bad as Novug saying, I've been practicing just before dying in a game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on. Crimson Permanent Assurance. This is from Monty Python, The Meaning of Life, isn't it? It's another Monty Python one. <laughs> Matter is energy. In the universe there are many energy fields which we cannot normally perceive. Some energies have a spiritual source which act upon a person's soul. However, this soul does not exist ab initio as orthodox Christianity teaches. <laughs> Thank you, Crimson Permanent Assurance, the one pound dono, which was man shovel. Thank you, man shovel. <laughs> Yeah, even Lucas, who's probably steaming right now, knows that's man shovel. <laughs> Pumpkins in the chat. There you go. That was rigor mortis there. If anybody wants to get the game for themselves, I'll put the link in the chat again. Download it for free from here. There you go. And uh, Francis, thank thank you so much. These uh, two cool games tonight. Excellent, excellent platformers. Uh, you should definitely get them on, uh, get yourself an itch.io account and get them uploaded on there. <clears throat> and then people can also give you, uh, you can get, people get them for free from there, but you can also um, um, set it up so people can give you tips and donations. Um, just to, as, a as a thank you uh, for your hard work and stuff. So uh, maybe uh, earn yourself a little bit of money from it as well. But there you go. Um, that was rigor mortis. There, we don't like um, on new games. We don't ask people to um, rate them out of ten or give them a score because I don't. I, I don't think um, I don't like doing that on new games. But um, just want to take my view count there. Uh, but that was fun. I think that was a really cool little game. And uh, we're going to move on to the third game tonight, which we'll, we'll only take a short look at because it's a puzzle game, and they're. They can be a bit boring for viewers to watch. Thank you, Francis PF. Can everyone uh, tag Francis and give him like a, a well done and a thank you for his hard work? And uh, uh, is this your first two um, Amstrad games, Francis? If so, well done and thank you. I hope to see more in the future from you. GG Francis. Guys, I'm just going to grab another drink from the fridge. I'll be back in like 20 seconds. I'm just going to grab another drink from the fridge because I'm, I'm, I'm out. All right. I will be right back in 20 seconds and we're going to move on to the next game quickly.
<laughs> Can you hear him snorting ground up coffee? Coffee. <laughs> <clears throat> right, okay. Moving swiftly on. Thank you again, Francis. Thank you. Great work there. Great work. So, that was Rigor Mortis there. And before that, Chloe learns to recycle. Great stuff there. Great links are in the description on the uh, video and, uh, excuse me, stream there. Um, if anyone needs the links again, so it's there. Oh, Amtix 8 is due out at the start of June. Don't forget, the Amtix magazine is still being produced. And Zoe writes for it. Um, no bug. I did write some stuff for it previously. I may do again in the future. If I ever get some free time ever again. Oh, Jesus. Don't have kids. Um, sorry, uh, Francis says, that is my first Amstra games. I've also de developed these games for the ZX Spectrum a long time ago. So, hopefully, Francis might do some more Amstrad games in the future. Um, uh, I, hope, I hope he's encouraged by the response, like, from the Amstrad, like, uh, the English community here. Well, we have, lot, obviously, um, we have plenty of Spanish and French people and from all over the world. We have some Americans here tonight in, in the form of Matt Myers and Man Shovel and Al K and others. So, um, I suppose this is like uh, the Amstream here, Francis. It's kind of like the hub of like the English-speaking Amstrad community, I suppose. So, I hope you're encouraged by the response you've seen here tonight. And, um, and uh, you know, it's nice to see like your games get showcased here. So, if you, if you do any others, you know, you know, you know you'll get some love here tonight and they'll be shown off here. And uh, hopefully this will it'll be a nice encouragement if you do any more Amstrad projects. You know that they'll get shown off here and um, you'll get some love and um, support. You know, they won't get, uh, they will get noticed. Uh, I think like the ZX Spectrum community is is quite a large community. And they can new, new releases can get quite lost, if you know what I mean. Whereas like the Amstrad community is a bit smaller. But they will get noticed more, you know what I mean. So, and they're more appreciative. So, we're a very, uh, we'll, we're appreciative of all new releases and stuff like that. So, yeah. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I had some free time in January two thousand and five. I think. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah we absolutely love new releases yeah get a game hammers uh classic gaming she's made a couple of games haven't you zoe well actually more than a couple now right we're going to move on to the third and final new game of the night and um, we're going to have a only a short look at this one um uh, because it's quite a simple game um and uh, it's a puzzle game. It's a it's kind of puzzle game that we've perhaps seen a lot of over the years. This is kind of interesting, though. This is called Vexed. And what's intriguing about this one is it's uh, a game that's been not just developed for the Amstrad, but a whole bunch of other computer systems and consoles. Let's have a look. So Vexed is a... I'll perhaps zoom it in here a little bit. Vex is a new and original puzzle game. Match the blocks, reach par, but make sure no block is left behind. Hmm, I wouldn't say it's original, but it's... Sorry, it's original enough. Okay. Uh, Vex is an addictive puzzle game where you must match the blocks to remove them from the level. Oh, hang on a second. Sorry, Lord Raspergu. Hello, Raspergu again. <laughs> Raspergu! Thank you for the free pounds. Info. YouTube history in Wembley. Boogie versus Wings of Redemption will have a boxing match. Yes, I know. I know. When's that happening? And when? Um, when can I? Where? Where can I watch that? Thank you. Thank. Uh, <coughs> I remember Boogie. I used to watch a lot of his YouTube videos years ago. Not so much these days. 
Thank you very, very much for the three pounds, Lord Raspergu. Bananas in the chat for, for Raspergu there. Thank you. Thank you, Raspergu. Thank you, my friends, as always. It's very, very kind of you. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. Sorry. Um, I'm going to have to just quickly move on because I was in the middle of describing um, this new game. Where are we? Where were we? Just pop back over. So, Vex, sorry. Um, is the difficult game where you must match the blocks to remove them, theme, them, them from the level. Sometimes three blocks must be removed in a single move. Line up the blocks to stop them from connecting. If left with any single blocks remaining, you'll have to start the level again. The higher the number of moves, the higher the score. The goal is to get the lowest score possible. It's possible to go negative. The accepted solution isn't always the best. But here, here's the thing. This was a game that was um, cross-developed and released simultaneously across a multiple number of uh, co computers and consoles. So this was released at the same time for the ColecoVision, the MSX, the Sega SG-1000 console, the Sega Master System, the Sega Game Gear, the ZX Spectrum, the SpectraVision SV318 and 328, the M Memotech MTX512, the Game Boy, and the Amstrad CPC. See all the screenshots there. There you go. Yeah, it looks a bit like Puznik. It's kind of Puznik, really, actually, in a way, but kind of in a, it, it, with a slight different twist. And if you look at the screenshots there, Game Boy, Sega Mass System, ZX Spectrum, uh, MSX, Sega Game Gear, Spectrum Next. Which one stands out the most as the most colourful there? Hmm. Which one's the most colourful, the colourful one there? Is it by any chance the Amstrad? <laughs> I'm being silly. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Thank you again, Raspergu. So, we're going to have a look at the Amstrad one. Now, I just want to pay attention here uh, to a comment here. Nice work. What's with the Beatles songs? Uh, quite a few less known to so apparently, there's lots of Beatles music in the game. Uh, yeah, okay, so... I noticed that comment there, because I did fire this up before the stream to make sure it worked. And it doesn't appear to be any music. Right. Yes, they made a version for the SG-1000. Hmm. Right. Anywho, we shall get Vexed loaded up. Right, okay. Uh, where's my... Okay, here we go. Vex was made for the next? No, just the normal Spectrum. Uh, I'd pay, Zy I'd pay to watch Zypho Fist. No, oh my. So this is made by the Under 4 Megahertz team. Under 4 Megahertz. Nice name for a uh, um, company, that. And here's the link in the chat for the itch.io page. And you can download it from there. And you can also tip the authors there and send them a tip, but you can get it for free. At the moment, though, it's completely silent. But I do wonder if it's bugged and, like, uh, there's, like, the space be music. Um, um, or they've just not put the music in the Amstrad version. So I don't know what's going on there at all. Um, hello, Arnie. Arnie the Viking, welcome. Spectrovision was a tape-based home computer from 1983 that served as the prerequisite of the MSX platform. It couldn't do scrolling at all. Oh my goodness. Right. Um, never actually touched a Spectrovision before. What other game has a Beatles song in it? Bomb Jack! Lady Madonna, isn't it? Yeah. I want to remember to take those things that look like special needs big 20s. Oh my goodness, movie. I'm glad Zypho is a good lad and is playing the three new games in one stream, not milking them for the next three weeks. I could have milked them. I thought about it, Flip. I thought about it. <laughs> Stretching out what I was doing for the um, stream. But we've got to do the sugars. I want to do the sugars before the end of May. Which says press button. Level one. Good night. You see, like the, the names of the levels are, are actually themed around Beatles songs, and there's no Beatles music, so that's a shame. 
So there's no music on the Amstrad version. So I don't know if the Amstrad version is either bugged or it's just completely missing the music. So I don't know what's going on there. I'm running in 128k. Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure what's happened there. So that's a shame. I could try a different emulator quick. I'll try CPEC quickly. Um... Yeah, I've just tried it in CPC EC emulator and it's the same issue there. I've got it running in a separate window and there's no music. Yeah. Yeah, it's busting that as well. No, no music. Uh, only sound effects on the Amstrad version. All right, never mind. Spectrovision, wasn't that a quick shot too? I think they made joystick as, joysticks as well. I don't. I know very little about the Spectrovision. So here we are. Vector block, and you drop it like that. Level one complete. Simple as that. That's how you do the level. Yeah, I bought you, Zoe. Yeah, I did try. Um. What do we do here? Ah, right, okay. That clears that. That clears that. Oh, no! Oh! Oh! That left that one there. Fortunately, we've got nothing... Oh. So, unfortunately, we're softlocked. There's one block left, and that's, that's a problem. So, the reds... Two, the two reds dropped and cleared off first. I was hoping the greens would clear off first before the reds. Did you see that? There were two. I am the walrus. You see, that should have been some beta mu mu music around I am the walrus. Oh, pardon me. Sorry, boys and girls. I've got the windy pops there. Did, I, did you hear that on the microphone? Sorry about that. Yes. Oops. Sorry. So this is just Puznik. Similar-ish. Plus, Nicky went round the sides and you fired your blocks across, didn't you? I am the Ewok. I am the Burper. So I think you press X. X to start again. So when I shoved that down there, that cleared those off, the yellow ones. I was hoping the green would disappear first, so then the reds would then clear off all three at the same time. But that didn't seem to work. Oh. Hmm. So how do we do this one? Um, get rid of them. No. No, it's clear. Let's restart that one. Sugar. I bet Carol Vorderman would like this. Yeah. Move the red lightning block first. Yeah. Chuck that there. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, no. We're screwed, aren't we? I can't move that there now. I can't, I can't move that. No, we're going to have to reset. Have you move that there? Ah! No! Arse. I can't move that red one across there. I move that there. We get a plot in. This is Puznik, definitely. Oh, probably. But this is just Puznik. Red left straight away. Could do. Oh. 
And we did it three moves because you got you got the target moves at the top there, three moves, and we did it in three moves. So that's the perfect amount of moves. Excellent. Right, well done, chat. Well done, you got it there. He's the Ewok. He's the burper. He's the ferret. <laughs> God, don't encourage GP there, Matt. <laughs> Borderman Jubblies. Is it? Oh my god, I can see where Flibble's mind's going to. If Flibble disappears for about five minutes, we know what he's up to under his desk. <laughs> Nish, you got it there as well. Well done, Nish. Yeah, well done, Maud. Flibble says it's too hard for like... Well, we know what's too hard right now. Mr. Watkins, David. Good night, David. Take care, dude. Have a great weekend. Let's move on to the next one. I call your name, level three. Excuse you, Flibble. You're excused. Go and have a cold shower. Thinking about Vorderman's jubblies. Matt's ferret ran up my trouser leg. Matt tried to grab it, but it grew. I, I did call you that. If you, well... You brought it up. <laughs> right. Um, I think we're going to have to move these down here. All right. Get rid of that. And then I think we'll do this. I think we've got to do this. Same thing or not? Yeah. Target 14, moves 14. There you go. That's how it goes. There you go. My turn now to try to bed as I'm feeling sleepy. Good night, everyone. Nish. Take care, Nish. Have a great weekend, my friend. Good night. Looking forward to seeing your reviews of these three games on cpcgamereviews.com. Um, so, uh, by the way, the controls of the first two games were spot on, as always, as, as expected from the uh, Mark 1 um, Mojon Twins game engine. But the controls on this are perfectly great, great and responsive. Um, the graphics are nice. I mean, there's not much to it. Um perfectly fine um it just needs a bit of nice music to go with it it would have been good where's the where's the beatles music maybe maybe it might be coming on the later update of this i don't know um look forward to eurovision tomorrow night hannah waddington presented i'll need several cold showers <laughs> good grief <laughs> flibble you ba you are basically just admitting it now aren't you Okay, yes, this is the kind of game I'd enjoy. I think, yeah, definitely. This is the kind of game a lot of people might will enjoy chill, chilling out with. It's not the most exciting game to sort of present on a stream, I'll admit. So we are we are going to move on to some game requests um, shortly, I think. I'll ask the chat if you want to do any community AMS games tonight. I don't know. Um... I think what we need is a block here so we can push the orange block and make a freeway there but i don't know if we'll be able to oh that's oh this one's easy easy peasy but there were four complete there we go all right all right perhaps we'll get to one that's a bit tricky and see if the chat can help out Oh, they, oh, all right. This one looks a bit. This one looks a bit harder. Game request. Can you play one by Ben Nevis? He's very big in Scotland. <laughs> oh, Black Duke! Oh my goodness! With the four six four. Whoa! When is the next picture quiz? Really enjoyed that a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Have you thought about an Amstrad music quiz? Oh, bloody hell. We've done both recently. Um, The music, the Amstrad music quiz. 
Uh, thank you, first of all, Black Duke. Thank you very, very much for the 464. Can we have some bananas in the chat? Mr. Mike ZT, who's here, the first set of bananas. Um, Mike ZT was responsible for that uh, picture quiz. All the hard work creating those slowly revealing images. So thank you, Mike ZT, again for that. Um... The music quiz, we did that. We've done that a couple of times uh, already this year. Um, and that's ready to roll. We could do that again. And the onions flip. Um, we can do. Uh, chat, after after Vexed, would you like to do an Amsha music quiz for a little bit? Or would you, for like, I don't know, half an hour tonight? Or would you like to go on to um, um, game requests? How are you feeling, chat? I'll do a poll. After after vexed. Uh, music quiz or game uh, game request? Uh, If music quiz, it'll be for, I don't know, 30 mins. Okay. We'll do the music quiz for 30. If you do vote yes for music quiz, we're off 12. We'll do it for like 30 minutes. So we can have like an hour's worth of game requests after. Just to like sort of balance it out. Okay. All right. I'm going to put a poll in the chat. Um. All right, I put a poll in the chat, and let I'll let the poll decide. Black Duke tonight, okay? Uh, I'll put a poll in the chat. No, I did not buy that Chase HQ thing that GP posted. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can solve this one, and then we will move on to game requests. What happens if we do that? Oh no, because that leaves that green one up there. Let's reset. So if I move this green one down here. Get rid of that. That. Oh, that was easy. Oh, that's easy. There you go. Ooh, the pole's a bit split. Uh, have a look at the Discord and eBay link. E eBay channel, Retro and Lim. Well, Zypho, do you have the Samantha Fox game? Yes, I can download that from CPC Power. But I think I'd probably get banned from YouTube if I played that. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you again, Black Duke. Uh, if we don't do it tonight, we will do, a, we'll do an AMS quiz. A music quiz or... Um, um the the picture yeah the, the music quiz or the uh the picture quiz again another, another night we like doing that oh it's a bit split at the moment i'll leave the poll up for a bit from the game throne hello welcome uh which emulator is this and does it support save states hello um i'm using currently using the old workhorse emulator for the amstrad called win ape um it's got the, it's most user friendly and has the most features and yes it does have save states and they work quite well. Um, so Win8, the most um, up to, the one that's kept up the most uh, up to date one and the most accurate one is the C, it's called CPCEC CPCEC emulator and the the one that's most fancy although it's lacking features although it is currently getting a big update is called uh, Retro Virtual Machine. Um, but welcome to the, welcome to the stream um, from the Game Throne. I hope that's useful for you, my friends. Welcome in, welcome in. All right, we'll do this one, and then I think we'll move on from Vexed. And we'll see what the poll says. Oh, it's a bit split. 56%. I don't know what to do now. It's a bit split. 
Right. Um. What there? Hmm. Put that there. I don't know if that was the right thing to do or not. Um, that was not the right thing to do. Sugar. I think we're sort of there. Uh, if it splits at 52.48, what, what we have to do is never move on from it ever. We'll have to do another poll. I don't know. Democracy. Uh, Evasion of the Giver Gabbers taking monetization for PSP video. Those bastards stole from zero. Thing. What? What? What's that, man? Shovel? What? 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 Yeah, Black Duke. Yeah, you could have a ZX Spectrum emulation within Retro Virtual Machine as well. And they've added some other systems too, I believe. So if we drop this, the problem is that takes out that. If I move the red over there, it takes out the red ones here, here, here. Then we drop that over here. That will take out that, but leaves this one. Uh. Ah. I'm, then I'm screwed. I'll, I'll try that again. So what we probably need to do, maybe drop this in here. And... Hmm. Ah, oh, hang on. I've cracked it. Hey. Oh, no, 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 you stupid boy. I had it there. I freaking had it. I had it there. So we drop this down here. Right. Hang on, I did have it somewhere. Uh, what? Yeah, done it. There you go. There you go. That's it. There you go. Level level six complete. What does level seven look like? There you go. So there you go, boys and girls. That was vexed. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty good little puzzle game. So definitely a cool little thing to chill out with there. I'll put the link in the chat again for you. And what the hell are we going to do now? Maybe, maybe we'll do a shorter music quiz. Uh, um, uh, which stream did we have the last music quiz on? Um, out of interest. What was the last stream we did a music quiz on? Um, let's find one we did a last leaderboard. Uh, which one was it? I think it was the birthday stream. And he's find the leaderboard stuff. We had it. Um... Right, I've got something. Right, okay. So, what's the poll say then? So, we're going to move on from Vexed. And um, what's the poll got for us then? 34 votes. It won proceeds. 52% to 47. It's not unanimous. It's not really unanimous. But the poll did win the music quiz. So... God, it's like, 
Yeah, it's quite close. Anyway, if you've been enjoying, if you've been enjoying the stream, please give us a like and a thumbs up if you haven't already. What are we on at the moment? We're on 57 likes and thumbs up. Thank you. Um, if it wasn't, I thought um, people giving likes and a thumbs up, some new people wouldn't have uh, encountered the stream. I believe was it Jack? Was it you or Black Duke? I can't remember. Um, if he wasn't for um, recommendations, like uh, YouTube actually recommending my my channel, you wouldn't have found me. So like doing stuff like thumbs ups and likes actually works sometimes because then it recommends me onto people's feeds and stuff. So thanks if you've uh, uh, given me a like and a thumbs up. Thank you very very much. Cheers, I appreciate it. Hey, 58 now. Thank you, thank you. Right. Um. <laughs> I know, Zoe. I know, I know. No one will ever be happy. So what we'll do, we'll do a shortened version of the music quiz. All right, as a compromise. Instead of 30 minutes, we'll take it down to 20 minutes. All right? Okay. We'll do a shortened version of the music quiz as a compromise. All right. We'll do, we'll do that. Name that tune, Community Ams Quiz. Okay. Yeah, that. Uh. Right, we should be good, we should be good. Okay. Thankfully. Right. Okay. Let me find a. Let me find a tune. Start off with a. Hopefully, we'll start off with an easy one. All right. Hey, okay, I'm gonna pause my music. Um. Let me just find a. All right. Okay. Okay, chat. This should be. This should be. We'll start off with an easy one. Okay. So, right. Um, uh, just to remind everyone, the, the, your sometimes your chat on your phones or on your computers can like uh, be the chat messages can go out of order sometimes. So the chat, this chat order of messages is the law. This is what I'll go with. So, um. Sometimes your chat messages can go out of order in on your phones and tablets and like computers. So if anyone says, "Oh, my my answer came first. This is what I'm going with. Okay, this is the order, the official order. <laughs> okay, so um, have a look on the rewind the stream and go. Oh, actually, this my my chat window got out of sync and whatever on your phone. So maybe you want to refresh. Oh, hang on. Sorry, we'll start in a minute. Joe. Hello, Joe. Thank you for the three pounds. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> hey, hey, Joe. I got some bananas in the chat for Joe. How you doing, mate? Thank you very much for the three pounds. Thank you, Joe. I see the bananas in the chat for Joe. How you doing, Mr. Joe Khalil? Welcome, mate. How's it going? Just in time for a quick music quiz. We're going to name that tune. Right. Welcome, Joe. We need to start this quickly, though, Joe, so I can't mess about too long. Sorry, Joe. Welcome in, Joe. What you're going to do is I'm going to play a song from an Amstrad game, and you're going to name that tune. All right. Okay. Whoever gets the first, who gets it right gets the point. If you make a slight spelling mistake, I'll accept it. Um... But it, if it's like a sequel to the game, you've got to make sure you put the, the number, if you know what I mean. Right. If it's like uh, Prehistoric 2, uh, but if you put Prehistoric, that's wrong. You've got to put Prehistoric 2. But if you spell Prehistoric with a C at the end rather than a K, I'll accept Prehistoric with a C, if you know what I mean. Prehistoric C2 space 2. I'll accept that because you clearly meant Prehistoric 2. But if you just put prehistoric, it's a wrong answer. All right. Okay, chat, are you ready? Easy peasy one. Line in the sand. You should know how this goes. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go.
Come on, nice easy one to start you off. Nice and easy one. Oh, there you go. Of course. Easy peasy. Robocop, who was first to get that one? It was Batman 77. Well done, Batman 77. Right, where's me online leaderboard? Right, Batman. First point of the night for Batman. There you go. There you go, Batman. All right, nice one, Batman. Nice one. Okay. Right. Okay, just going to pause the music there. Right, let's think of another one then. Okay. Okay, right. Let's see. What have we got here then? Um, oh, let's choose this. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, it's going to be a tough one. Maybe a slightly tough one. We're going to do a tougher one this one. Okay, chat, are you ready? Okay. <laughs> okay, ready. In three, two, one, go. Right. Oh, my goodness. We have a winner already. We have a winner already. Nice one. Flibblesan. Holy crap. It was Flibblesan and he was right with Crystal Kingdom Dizzy. Clanny got it as well later on. Well done, Clanny. Hello, Clanny. Well done. Musa. Hello, Musa. Yes, it was Crystal Kingdom Dizzy. The Flibblesan with the point there. Well done, Flibblesan. Excellent. Well done, Flibble. Point on the ball there for you. It was. It was Crystal Kingdom Dizzy. Well done. You love that game. Oh, unlucky Clanny. Unlucky Crystal Meth Dizzy. Dizzy does Dallas. <laughs> Good grief. Good grief. All right. All right. What we uh, what we picking? What we picking? Okay, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Right. All right. I think I'll pick one. I think I'll pick one. Ah, right. Okay. All right, let's have a classic one. Got a classic one. Okay. <laughs> All right, you got to be quick on this one. Are you ready, chat? Three, two, one. Let's go. <laughs> I tell someone that was scrambling to take that in. I was giving a, Mer a certain American a chance there. But he wasn't quick enough. Yes. 
Someone's got it there. Someone's got it there. I was giving a, a certain American a chance there. Hello, Paul Johnson. Welcome. It was Glider Rider. And it was... Who was first there? It was Musa. Musa. How you, get, how you doing, Murray? Welcome, mate. Musa. Do we have you as Musa on here? Oh, we need to add you. Let's add you. 1970. Put your smoother 1976. There you go. Right. There we go. There you go. Fight the board for Moosa. Go on. There you go. On the board there. Good old tune there from David Whitaker. I think I'm going to do another David Whitaker tune next. That's going to be a clue. That'll be a clue. that up then. Voila, while I have a look there. Actually, no idea. Thank you again, Joe. I hope you've been there keeping well, my friend. Thanks for the dono, mate. Cheers, dude. They're like Battle Squadron at the start. Right. Ooh. Try and obs... Hmm, this one's maybe a little bit obscure. Alright. Okay, let me just check this one. Ah, no, this one's rubbish. I'm going to have to change my mind on this one. Um, oh, let's have a look at this one. Bear with me, chat. Make sure this one's good. Nah, that one's garbage. I'm going to have to change my mind on that one. Um, hmm. Actually, let's find a better one. Oh, that one's too obvious. Oh, ah, this is a tune. Found, found one. Yeah. Oh, found a good song. Found a good one. Right. Are you ready, chat? Here we go. No, America said plenty of, plenty of Canadians. Good Lord. All right. Here we go. Are you ready? Now, Lazy Sod Johnny Boy must have fallen asleep. I think he's fallen asleep in his kebab again. His kebab bed. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Ooh, what's this one? Oh, 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 oh. Albush loss. <laughs> Someone's already got it. Oh my goodness. Someone's already got it. It's beyond the ice palace. Good guess is there. I'm Dr. Strange Spook School. That's a good guess. It was beyond the ice palace. Black. Dude, Black Duke going there. Nice one, mate. Nice one, Bridget. <laughs> Give me an idea for something, actually. Nice one, Jack. But it was Black Duke there. Do we have to add you on there? We're going to have to add you on there, Black Duke. Uh, let's give you a point there. Nice one, Black Duke. It's a tune and a half, isn't it? Would you like an easy one, chat? Or would you want a, would you want a really evil one? But yeah. Great tune, that. Great tune. 
Thundercats, you're close, obviously. This was meant to be a Thundercats game. Evil, easy, random one. Difficult mode. Difficult mode. Alright, 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 alright. Okay, okay. an idea for one. Oh, they've cut the yes! <laughs> they've captured the music from it. Brilliant. Brilliant. Right. <laughs> Let me just have a listen. I've... <laughs> oh, I love this. Alright, okay. If you get this, respect. If you probably, if you know, you know. All right, okay. God help you. God help you if you get this one right. If you know, you know. I suppose. You want easy, easy to give me a chance of getting one. You text for the answer, then play it. I don't think I've got your mobile number, SG. So no cheating. All right, we'll do an easy. We'll try and do an easy one after this one, okay? Then again, I thought that last one was... Well, no, perhaps that last one wasn't that easy. I don't know. Anyway, all right. You ready, chat? In three, two, one, go. Some of you have got it! Some of you have got it! Worst rendition of Star Wars ever! <laughs> I think if you had the Amsoft pack and stuff, you would know it. Copyright strike incoming. DMCA! <laughs> yes, it was Amsoft Space Ox. I think if anyone that had it with their computer, they would just know because it's bloody dreadful. Retro on Limb! Retro on Limb got it first there. I think that's quite an evil one, really. I think, like, unless you had it, you wouldn't know. It's like OSG probably wouldn't have a chance. And Oh, Zoe knew it. Zoe was second there. Well done, Retro on Limb. Right, okay, we'll do an easy one. We'll try and do an easy one. All right, I've got to spare your eardrums from that. <laughs> Dreadful. All right, we'll do an easy Try. I'm trying to think of an easy one. All right, we'll do a few, a couple more. Um, All right, okay, we'll try and do an easy one. I mean, we did start with bloody Robocop. <laughs> All right, okay. We'll try and do an easy one. I mean, everyone probably should know this. Uh, oh, God. Hang on, I broke something here on CBC Power's website. Um, right, okay. All right, okay. This should be, uh, I think this should be pretty easy, I would have thought. Hang on, let me check this. Okay, mm, I'll make it slightly harder by picking one of the later level tunes. Okay, all right, okay. Are we ready, chat? All right, here we go. Okay, in three, two, one, go. Ready? Oh, 
I should have banned a certain someone because like he was just immediately there. It was Batman and Batman 77 got it. <laughs> Who let him into this quiz? But yes. Yes, Batman 77 won with Batman. He just immediately just typed Batman. <laughs> I chose one of the later level uh, musics, just but maybe make it slightly harder. <laughs> Roland takes a running jump. Yeah. All right, Batman seventy seven. Where are you? Oh, this is the older leaderboard. Oops, just done the more recent one. I'm missing a few players on this. Oh well. Oh, you're already there. You, you had a point from earlier. Oops. I might have just duplicated you. Hang on. Yeah. There you go. Two points there. Never mind. Batman was top. He's there. He's there. It's just like a duplicate now. I removed it. All right then. All right. Oh, guys, right, so moved on to the next music. Everyone would have probably got it from this song, because it's like the menu music. Anyway. Right. I probably need to do a hard one. This will probably be the last one, and then we'll do some, um, we'll do some game requests, okay? All right, we're going to do one more, and then we're going to do some game requests. Okay, so let's... Let's pick a hard one, okay? We're going to try and do a hard one for the last one, if we can. I'm going to try and pick something difficult. Hmm. Ooh, what's this one? Okay, I've picked one. I've picked one. This. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Slice by would be a hard one. <laughs> we only just featured it. Okay. All right. God. Right. This is a really hard one. Really hard one. One of those games of no music. We're like vexed. <laughs> All right. Okay. Here we go. Right. Bloody hell. If anyone gets this, I might have to give clues here. All right, three, two, one, go! Next, someone's got it already. I thought this was hard. Bloody hell. It's Grange Hill. How on earth did you get that retro on limb? Blibble got it and Paul Johnson. Easy. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Because it's David Whittaker. I thought no well. Oh hail the Gonj. So that was retro on that was retro on Lim. He gets two points. Alright, we'll do one more. I'm gonna try and pick a really hard one then. <laughs> well a bunch of shadows. I know. I know I was G. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have a look at my shell to see if I can find a really hard one. Hmm. 
I might have picked one. Okay, okay. Let me... Let me see. Okay, right. Let me just check one out here. I don't know if this is hard. Uh, I don't know if it's that hard. We'll see. We'll see if this one. Okay. Yeah, it looks two shelves like two shelves up. Yeah. All right. Okay. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> you thought I might have tried that one, Flip. Guesses, good guesses. Oh, oh man, maybe that was too easy for some people because because Lord Respergu got it. It was prohibition already. Damn, I've not stumped you yet. All right, we'll do one more quick one after this one. Drisburgu got it. It was Prohibition. Nice tune. That target shooting game, you move the crosshair around. Drisburgu. Well done. Have we got you on the... No, we haven't. All right. Well done, Drisburgu. Give you a point. You hate that game. I love it. It's a great game. We've got to get side up between Batman and Retro and Lim. Damn it! I need, to, I need a, I need a tougher game. I need a tougher game. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm upsided. Hmm. Right, let's take that off. Let's have a look. I've got an idea for one. Oh, it's only got one of the tunes. Oh, oh I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Hopefully this will be the last one. All right. <laughs> this is awful. This one is awful. But I wonder if anyone will recognize it. Okay. This will be probably the last one then. Okay. Okay. Stop it. I didn't even get Batman. The same tune on it. The same tune in the Commodore 64 version, isn't it? OSG. James Hetfield has donated one pound. What? From Metallica?
Give me four, give me five, give me j -j 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 bar. <laughs> That's bad shovel. That is a hundred percent. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, you didn't hear that because I muted the sound. Sorry, guys. I'll play that again. There you go. You can hear. You can probably hear that now. I heard the sound muted. Sorry. Now you can hear it. Sorry. Gimme foo, gimme fa, oh, gimme gimme ja ba za ba ha. There you go. Gimme foo, gimme fa, gimme ch 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 ba. <laughs> Thank you, man shovel. Thank you. Pupkey's in the chat for man shovel. That's clearly a man shovel dono. Don't even need to look at my phone. Thank you, man shovel. Uh, cheers, matey. Enjoys your pumpkins. <laughs> I think man shovel's been on the f at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe last one tonight, then we'll do some game requests. Jesus Christ, we've spent longer than half an hour. I said I'd only do this for 20 minutes, but hey, there we go. All right, last one. Last one. Are you ready, boys and girls? Hopefully, this is might be slightly obscure enough. This might throw you off. All right, here, here we go. Three, two, one, go. It's crap. It's utter crap. I'm hoping this one will throw you off a bit. Bloody hell! The chat's already got it. The chat's already got it. Can you believe those who haven't got it? Can you believe that this is Predator? This is the music, the Arnold Schwarzenegger game Predator. <laughs> Tim Fallin Banger. <laughs> Who got that first? I was hoping it would throw you off. No one typed Predator, but no, I think it's burning people's brains that this was Predator. Robin Hook, the Retro Games Wiz, got it. Robin Hook, points of the balls there. So, tonight's Wieners. Sorry, Winners, not Wieners. Why did I say Wieners? was Batman 77 and Retro Unlim. Well done. Let me just kill that. You don't want to hear any more of that. Well done, Batman 77 and uh, Retro Unlim. Congratulations. You are the winners of tonight's music quiz. Even though it was only about 30 minute odd one. Well done. Playing that game makes you a goddamn sexual Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> Just like Jack Thursby. There you go. Well done. Well done. All right. All right. That was fun for a little bit. We had a, li we had a little quiz. A little, uh, Just a little quiz there. All right. What do we... Uh, I need to take off that. There we go. Okay. All right. I got, all right, chat. Time for some game requests. We haven't got a lot of time tonight. We've only got like 45 minutes left. But we could do some more game requests. We could do some game requests. All right. Wait. So, um, oh, um, oh, some game requests in the chat. Um, like, Flibble's like, ugh, games. <laughs> ah. Uh, can we have some first game choice as winners? All right. Yeah, no. That's a good incentive. I should have thought of that. So, Batman and Retro on Limb. You have the first two game requests. There you go. There you go. Right. Drop this on your sore ass. Yeah. That's a good uh, that's a good idea. But winning the uh, music quiz, you can have the first two game requests. Right. But you can't have the uh, super trolley. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Hang on, hang on. Bloody hell. Roger's basketball window. What? Roger's basketball window? What the fart is that? Red heat. 
Red heat! <laughs> is that man shovel? Is he high as a kite right now? Is he floating about two feet uh, above his couch? No, it's not! It's, it's GP! <laughs> Please explain the name. Roger's Basketball Window. <laughs> the part is that about, GP? Um, thank you, G Bananas in the chat for GP. <laughs> um, special name like Stunt Car Racer. Stunt Car Racer. Cool. Yeah. Hang on, let me... Stunt car racer. And Batman, what's your request? Hang on, let me just catch up the chat there. Uh, OSG being gracious there towards the winners. I see that earlier up in the chat there. Um, Zoe likes some space hawks. Hold on to uh, those. Remind me again in just a sec uh, of what you, you everyone else wanted. Welcome back, Coffee Cup. I hope the stream has been going well. You just missed a music quiz, Coffee Cup. Um, I'm surprised on the CC sport is drying and being reassembled tomorrow. Garbage Pell Kids for the Nairs just arrived. Awesome! That sounds good. cool. Um, is, is Retro Brighty still the thing to do? I've got a Vic 20 that needs brightening up. Um, I've heard that makes it brittle and more prone to cracking. Or is that the. Is that the is that the is that the or is that the the method of doing it in sunlight? I, I don't know these days. I don't know what, what what the right method to use is. And Batman would like Continental Circus. Got two races. Bloody hell! Okay, good choice, Batman. Yeah. Um. Yes, it did my Atari ST work. It's what in the sun or with the retro brighting? Hang on. Really man shovel has donated one pound. Man shovel, it Triton, was you. Please, Zypho. Triton. <laughs> Thank you, man shovel, for the one pound. Thank you, man shovel. I can't promise, my friend. You've had a lot of requests, and there's others that like, would like requests as well. I can't promise, can't promise, because you, you've had one every week now <laughs> for a while. We'll see, we'll see. I put it, I made a note of it. Um, okay, but we'll see, we'll see, Mad Shovel. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Pumpkins in the chat for Mad Shovel. I know you've done a lot for me, my friend. I know you have, I know you have. Thank you, Mad Shovel. Um, all right, okay, stunt car racer, stunt car racer. Let me get that up. Oh, hang on, my folder of games. Stunt car racer. Awesome. Thank you, man shovel. Thank you. Yeah, top cover it with foil, get some cheap lights, fill it with peroxide and leave it. Oh, extended version, I've got the right version here. Go. Apple peroxide in sunlight is the way forward. Is it really? Peter Packrat. Alright. So I hope we'll see if we've got time. Uh oh my god! Oh my god, hang on. Wait a second. Wait a second. You could play with the AMX mouse. Does it actually work with analog? Sorry, dramatic pause there with the music because I very nearly bought a freaking. Um, I just realized my view account's been stuck for freaking ages as well. I very nearly bought an AMX mouse on eBay a while ago and then I the bids went up a bit and I backed out. Wow. Does this actually work with a mouse and does. Is it. Uh, no, we're not talking about anal bleaching, Lucas. <laughs> Retro brighting and all that kind of stuff, which is the safest method. 
Um, we'll try joystick. Right, okay. Fire to continue again. Uh, color monitor. Hang on. Racing muffin couch vacuum. What the hell was going? What what on earth is going on? Everyone's got loopy this time of night. Man shuffle again. Him not on the shrooms. Smile. Uh. <laughs> Man shovel again. I'm not on the shrooms. Mm. Mm. I believe you. 49 other people probably won't, don't. <laughs> actually, is that actually man shovel? We never know anymore. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to check my phone. Let's just leave it to our imagination. That could be GP. That could be, that could be man shovel. Man, sh man shroom shovel. <laughs> man shrooms. <laughs> and vocal. Who knows? All right, let's just go single player league. Name. Uh, uh, ever. All right, we're in Division 4. We're doing the Humpback, Little Ramp, Jumping Jack, Hooray Park of Zypho. Okay. Okay. All of Fame practice. But, uh, what's the best one to do? You was taking a slash at the trough. Were you really? Uh, uh, two I'll take some more requests after these two games, Matt Mize, and see what time we're at. And... We'll see where we're, see how we're doing. I won't call them shrooms. I'll call it illegal drugs that you should should be locked up for. So in there when he drops the soap, says GP. Um, start the race this season. Okay. Okay. Right. Zypho versus Jumping Jack. The little ramp. Steer to rotate. Ah, uh, you could get like look a little three D view of things that you could look around all right let's just go what we're gonna do i'm just gonna take a quick snappy just in case we like like just screw screw something up if we just need to restart stunt our racer okay off we go it's a drop start This is your all-time favourite racer game. I would beat anyone on it. C64 Amiga. Okay. Oh, that gives you... Oh, fire button just gives you the boost, doesn't it? Should I do should I use it now? Um Okay. Ooh. Oh that hurt then. Hey. Those 3D graphics. Am I going too fast here? I probably should slow down. Brakes a little. That was bad, I think. Where am I? Uh, what's going on? Where up? Oh, shoot. That was not good. That was not good. Press fire. Oh no! I've been dropped too high. Hey. Um. Jesus. All right. Okay. Off we go. Off we go again. Oh, I think that I think computer player's just done a lap. There's a time up here at the bottom right corner. I'm just trying to get control of the car here. Okay. 
Is the red bar my, my current speed? The red line? I can't... Okay. I think I'm feeling a bit more in control of the car now. Stick to nicking speeder bikes out soon. <laughs> ah, Focal. Right. Slow down, slow, 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 slow. That's better, that's better. Okay. Uh, and then, ex oh gosh, a bit of a twist there. Then accelerate out the bend. Slow down for this. I think we were too fast off this before. Or were we too slow off that? Where the far are we? No, too slow. Oh, well, we completely missed that. Do you know what? Let's try that again. We're going to try the start of that race again one more time. We'll just do like one. Let's see if we can get around one time. So I, I'd missed that. I missed the jump. I was just I was was I just driving into the bottom of it? You walled it. Oh crap! Right. Um, you DM'd me. Is it, do I need to read it now? Retro and limb. Boost from start. Okay. Right. Atari XL version 2, Zai. Uh, what do I... Uh, what's that mean, Lucas? Boost from start. Right, boost in. So I was going way too slow, was I? Holy crap, I'm going much faster. Let's go! Let's floor it! Oh! oh, holy... Holy cow. Oh, I see. Now I'm too fast. What speed should I be taking... What speed... What should speed should I be taking, taking that jump? Hundred and forty. Okay. Thank you. Oh, there you go. There's, there's. A, oh, I've done a lap. I've done a lap. A little bit of dab on the brake there. Okay, I'll go. Oh, 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 oh. I was just about to say I was getting the hang of it. Famous last words. All right, Zyphone chat. Uh, I'm going to go and look at my. I hope we get to play Triton. Everyone have a great weekend and play Triton. Triton. <laughs> Maybe it was, uh, oh, if you're if you're like heading off man shovel, maybe you should save it for another time. I don't know. It's up to you, dude. Take care, man shovel. Thank you again, dude, for your generosity as always, and have a great weekend, my friend. All the best to Mrs. Shoves as well. Woo! We just made it. Oh, that was perfect, actually. I think. Good night, man shovel. Have a great weekend, mate. Take care, dude. All the best, dude. Okay. So, what are we thinking to this overall, then, of a stunt car racer? Is this a decent version of stunt car racer? I think it shifts pretty well. I mean, it's doing the 3D justice, I think. I like the, I like the engine noises. They're not... 
the engine noises are not annoying me at the moment. Engine car noises and 8-bit games can get on your tits quite easily. And uh, this isn't. I think the frame rate is acceptable. I think it's pretty good. It's certainly better than hard bloody driving. Do you reckon it's a 9 out of 10 game? I honestly don't know how the frame rate really compares to like um, Spectrum, Commodore 64, other 8 bit versions. Michael Crichton! Thank you for the one pound. Is it that man shovel with the back again? Triton. Triton. <laughs> Thank you, man shovel. Thank you, man shovel. Thank you. Is that? Yeah, it is. I'll see if I, I, I can't promise man shovel. I've got other people with requests, and you you got a lot in. I don't want to feel like um. A priority people who don't know over people who haven't had requests for a long time. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, thank you, man, shovel. <laughs> um, cheers, matey. Pumpkins in the chat for man, shovel. Um, I don't know if I. Uh, I, I I've got to be careful showing other people's YouTube footage, retro on limb. These days, Mega version is ten out of ten. Um, let's go find a friend's version. Uh, SD's the fastest even on Link Play because the game is cross platform. Show C64 from OSG's channel. Is if he's got it on there? Uh, stunt. Car Racer C64. Uh, 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 I'm about to crash and die there anyway. He's got the Amiga version. Uh but I don't think he's got a comparison video. That's one to that's one to do for your channel. Old style gaming. <laughs> Maybe not C sixty four, no. Uh No. Yeah. Poop. No, it's a comparison video of a friend that was not going to claim me. Let's get my video taken down. There isn't really one, I know. You channel a couple of channels I don't really trust, so nah, I best not. Um, <laughs> top hat? No, I don't think he's done a video on it. Um, I'm not setting up other emulators to play on the stream. That would take too long. That that would take too long to do tonight. So, and we want to get to other games, so. Right, okay. I'll just bring my music. I'll put some background music on. Right, okay, leave it. But yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Um, Do you think the Amstrad version is the slowest out of the other 8-bit systems? I think Clanny said so. Oh, that would be a, that, that would be a shame. But, okay. If that, if that is the case, you know, I'll accept that.
Race lost. Oh, we lost the race. Oh, well. I did have that crash, didn't I? Oh, well. It's still fast, though. Yeah. 9 out of 10 game. I never noticed as well. Uh, if I can get my... I can't see my mouse cursor. If you look closely at the wheels, there's actually animation on the wheel spinning as well. Can you see that on the tyres? You look closely. That little animation on the wheel spinning. Yeah. Yeah. Race loss because you use brakes. No, you don't never brake on this. <laughs> um, you're more than welcome to use footage from my channel for stuff. But I don't believe I've ever done anything but a quick play over the arcade version this years ago. All oh, right. I think people wanted people wanted to see the Commodore 64 and the Spectrum versions. I think. Race loss because you. I think race loss because I fell off basically. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to do a long play of this, but I think a whole long play of a season would be like eight hours long or something, wouldn't it? <laughs> no Am's car. We will do on the next game. I'm saving it for the next game, Jack. <laughs> um, you keep the wheels spinning and the beavers grinning. <laughs> oh, cow. My God, you've got a turn of phrase. Right. This inspired me to make a stunt car racer track out of cardboard when I was little. Didn't quite work, however. Oh, Maud. What, in your back garden? Like, for, like, your skateboard or something. Or your little pet. he had a little pedal car or something. Can you shout, wake up Johnny? <laughs> Bless him. And thank you, Zoe. Most scores there, 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. I don't know. I'll give this... Eight and a half to what? I'm verged between eight and a half or nine out of ten. Screw it. I'll give this a nine out of ten. I'll give this a nine out of ten. Apparently, the BBC Master version is very good. I think this was good on all systems. It's a good, great game. Jeff Crammond. What a dude. What an uh, uh, what an awesome guy. View account stuck again. Go. Right. Okay. Um. That was a bit of stunt car racer. Right, we better move on. We want to get some more people's requests in. So, what was next? I love this one. Ah, uh, okay. I want to play more stunt car racer, but I do want to play this as well. One of my favourite racing and driving games on the Amstrad. Good choice, this one. Oh, for toy cars. I see, Maud. Bit of Continental Circus. Chances are Johnny Johnny Boy's fallen asleep face first in his kebab. He's got a, he's got a nice kebab pillow. He's fallen asleep on Johnny Boy. There we go. Second best CPC race of this. I think it's in, probably in top three. I love playing this. Some people don't like this at all. Just got to get used to it. I love this. Um. Oh, mate. Yeah, best of luck for your dog, uh, OSG. I, I do hope it gets... Uh, I do hope... The, wish you the best with it, mate. I hope she gets... Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a bit loud. Bring that down a touch. Forward, back, forward on the lights, and you get a speed boost. Just done the speed boost. But before we go, it's time to... Oh, we can get the AMS racer out, can't we? Hang on. To the AMS racer. <laughs> All right, we're in the AMS racer. There you go, Jack. I haven't forgotten about that. Good night, OSG. Have a good weekend, my friend, and all the best of luck with the dog. I hope the little popper gets better. All right, and off we go. Right. So forward, back, forward on the first light, second light, Third light to get the speed boost, and away we go. And you get a speed boost at the start, the, the start of the race there. And hopefully, the AMS race will speed us to victory.
So far, so good. Oh, he was getting... Oh, you son of a bitch! Tight bend there, had to use the brakes there. Into the pits. Quick pit stop there. You love that Batman transition there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm such a cheesy git. <laughs> They're not fart clouds. How very dare you. Look, oh, you put me off. I'm on fire. I'm going to be on fart fire again. And that it's not a fart cloud. Just got through there. Bloody hell, I've got to go in the pits again. Arse! You want one with a willy OSG if it's a boy. <laughs> but I give you the top tip for OSG there, GP. I think the only shame this game is that all the cars are yellow. <laughs> Otherwise, it's a pretty fast and smooth racing game. I absolutely, absolutely love the playability on Continental Circus on the Amstrad. Oh! And we're going to run out of time here. We didn't overtake enough cars there. Oh. Ewok emissions. Again, swivel vocal. Damn! I got to the end of the course, but um, we'll take. We'll have another go. Arse. All right. Let's try that again. Now remember. Forward, back, forward on the lights here. Okay. Ready? Forward, back, forward. And you get a nice speed boost. And change into second gear around about 180, 190 kilometers per hour. You don't like the strike road effect, Sexy. mind it. Oh, I'm just trying to get past him. I had to go off the road there to slow myself down. There's one tip you can use. Top tip. If there's nothing on the side of the road, like road barriers or signs, and you want to slow yourself down in a pinch. Oh, God. I had to brake hard and go into low gear. So, if you want to slow yourself down in a pinch... But you don't want to do a hard break or drop down a gear. You could just go off the road and use the road, uh, the, uh, the side of the road to slow you down. Oh, he just went in front of me there. Did you see that, chat? Bloody lunatic. I think there needs to be an in inquisition on that on that race driver there. Nadiel, another lunatic. How are you doing, Texie? Anyway, I like the strike road effect. I think it. Uh, I think it's important to give a um, a sense of speed in the game. But maybe because you've got the stripes at the side of the road, I don't think you probably need it on the road as well. But it's probably. They could have taken it off the road and kept it on the side of the road. I had to go for it there because the clock was running out. Oh, it was too congested. Zypho was crumpet. So, yeah, I think, Clan, you probably agree with me there. Oh, I was 83. I could have just qualified there and got to the end. If I managed to get past those, those cars, it was just too congested there. Ugh. 
But yeah, Stripes of the Grass and Road is a bit overkill. Probably was. All right, we'll give it one more go. Here we go. Number four, back, forward. Forward, back, forward. Okay. Lucy them onto the spectrum of stripes on the grass, but not on the road, which brilliantly. Yeah, I'll go with that then. Take him off the road, but keep him keep them on the sides and on the grass. Can I quit and start again? Oh Jesus, that's such a bad, stupid start. Oh Jesus. Right, I'm gonna load that up again. We'll start that again. We'll have one more go. Is Vocal off? Good night, Vocal. Good night, my friend. Take care. Thanks for thanks for being you. <laughs> no thanks to the Ewok crap. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Vocal. Take care, mate. This is a beautiful looking game. I think it is. I think it's gorgeous looking graphics. It plays brilliantly well. No lag. Um, controls nice, tight, and responsive. And one of the best Amstrad racers. Scores that are 10 for Continental Circus Chat. Eight out of tens, nine out of tens. I, I, I personally am definitely going for a nine out of ten. I, I absolutely love playing this. There's really precision driving involved in this. It's, certainly ain't easy, but it's often if you crash. You feel like it, it is your fault. Do you know what I mean? There are... Ooh, breaking hard there. It all, again, nine times out of ten, it does feel like your fault. You would date... It was your fault for crashing. Although there are some kamikaze drivers sometimes. Generally, your opponent drivers stay in their lanes. Unless it's a bend, then they might start moving across on a bend. Just went down a gear there, just in case. Alright, we're doing well. Received rank 76, qualifying 80. Oh! Flatulent Gourd! What the hell is a flatulent gourd? Wait, Lord Sugar's in the way there. Has donated one pound! On the raceway, your senses are heightened. But nothing compares to the challenge of Triton. You can't have a bloody Triton again! Man, sure, well, I think he's probably high as a kite. <laughs> That is man shovel. I'm pretty sure that is man shovel. Fine. Yes, that's man shovel again. <laughs> Thank you, man shovel. Pumpkins in the chat for man shovel. Actually, I think we'll leave the background music on. Actually, what the hell? What the hell is a flatulent gourd? In the race where your senses are heightened, but nothing compares to the challenge of Triton. Oh, man shovel. <laughs> Plachame. Hello, Plachame. Welcome in. Welcome in. I think you prefer WC Le Mans. Fair enough. It's a close one, I think, between WC Le Mans and Continental Circus. And I, I don't know which I prefer. It depends on my mood. A flatulent gourd is a strip of cloth you cover your bum with. But it was gourd. G-O-U-R-D. I don't know what a gourd is, to be honest. <laughs> Thank you, man, Shovel. Thank you again. Can we complete a lap here? Arse! 
That's an old bottle. A gourd. Come on. Oh, we did it. Oh. And the flag lady's out. I love the tu little like uh, tunes and the presentation on this. Alright, we'll have a little, little look at America. A gourd is a drinking vessel. Is it? Did you Google it? Oh, actually, we've got the speed boost there. A gourd is a big jug. Why would it be flatulent? A flatulent gourd. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know with that man's shovel. I worry about him sometimes. Make it echo. Possibly. I mean, Anna likes to fart in a bucket. Maybe she'd like to fart in that gourd. Save it for later. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Ah, I've crashed already. Oh god, five seconds. Two, one. Oh, like I love close calls in driving games like that. You just. Please get in here. The pits, come on. Uh, Lon's boy. Lon's Boys post 1975 site dude Amstrad reviews. I've heard of this channel. It's a top bloke, is he? Ooh, I'll have to check it out. To be out of your gourd means to be uh, intoxicated, drunk. Ah. And we're out of time. We'll call it there on the Continental Circus. God damn it, I need to get back in practice on this game. Oh, we're right near the end. Oh, we're, yeah, but we're like rank 73 out of 60 needed. So we'll leave. Let's get out the AMS, AMS racer. <laughs> Nitpicker has donated one pound. <laughs> A gourd is a squash or a pumpkin. Can you imagine either farting? <laughs> what? A farting pumpkin? I'm going to Google it now. Now I'm out the game and out the AMS racer. A gourd. A fleshy, typically large fruit with a hard skin. Some varieties are edible. A climbing or training plant bears gourds. Ah, it's a note. Oh, shut up! Sorry, Continental Circus is beeping at me. I've never heard of that. Oh my god. These look disgusting. Never seen these before. A fart. Have you, chat, have you ever seen these before? Why, why would they be farting, man shovel? Whatever. Thank, thank you, uh, thank you, nitpicker. <laughs> the one pound that's clearly was man shovel. All right, cheers, man shovel. Are oh, you have? It must be an American thing. Right, okay. You have that, Myers. You seen in games and RPGs? Yeah. Probably, yeah. Right, right, okay. Thank, thank you for the farting gourds. Right, okay. All right, let's have a quick look at your bloody Triton. Computer, computer Tronic. I think we've done Triton before, man shovel. I, think I've, I've, I don't know why I've got it in my bloody um, folders of games. What is this? Maybe they make you fart, probably. I don't know.
I hear horrible noises in the background. Why is it chariots of fire? Jesus, is this Daddy Thompson's decathlon? This is the game that Mansha would be begging me to play. Triton from Otfried Schmidt. Is this a bloody Tronic Verla game? Sounds like a bog cleaner. <laughs> Yes, it's Tronic Verlag from 1986 by Otfried Schmidt. Uh, level zero, Blutige Lay. Oh God, can I? <laughs> Dinosaur Bucket Pen Pentry. Dinosaur Bucket Pentry. What the fart is this? Gord Lord, I demand the Hazemaker marries GP. What? Gord Lord? Go the Gord Lord, I demand the Hazemaker marries GP. <laughs> GP, are you... F uh, that was actually GP. Are you feeling okay, GP? You want to marry Hazemaker, 64, the Commodore 64 streamer. Good grief. Man, she was... Uh, are you on shrooms, GP? <laughs> Bananas in the chat for GP. Level zero or one? Let's go for level one. Uh, we've played this before, man shovel. Uh, fire button isn't working. Hang on, let's try. Uh, there we go. It's a it's a game written in basic. Is this after all this? This is what you wanted me to play. This is a pile of dog schmidt. <laughs> out of his farting gourd. <laughs> this game is even on YouTube, must be a hidden gem. I think it's hidden for very, very good reason. <laughs> Let's go for level four. Wanziniga. Wanziniga. I don't know. <laughs> like a crap two six hundred game. This is bad even for Tronic Verlag. <laughs> Go back to Chariots of Fire. Right. Audrey Schmidt has donated what failed. The coda of Triton. <gasps> you must have mistaken this for my other game, Interceptor 3D. I'm not playing bloody Interceptor 3D. No. No more Tronic Verlag. Just put surprise, surprise on and have done with it. The unholy trinity. Thank you. Uh, thank you. That was Mad Shovel. Thank you, Mad Shovel, for the one pound. Right. It's 2 a.m. I've got maybe time for... I'll do one more request. Um, who had a request for a game? Put it. Uh, who was desperate for a game request? Sorry for that silliness there. 
Um, we've got time for maybe one more game. Oh, God. Two more. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Scrime Spook School. Oh my god. There is a thread on the CPC Wiki forums where someone is trying to figure out how to. Uh, there's a whole in deep investigation of we're trying to work out that game, Jack. In, it's quite interesting. I've, I've got a, a bookmark of that and I'll, I'd love to see someone work, that, work out that game. No one can actually get off the first level. They've actually got quite far into the game now. They're very close to getting towards the end of that game. Another vote for Tuberuba. All right, a quick Tuberuba then to finish. God. Tuberuba. And one day, Jack, one day, when they figure it out, I'm going to do a video on Dr. Scrime's Spook School. No, I'm doing... no one's actually finished the bloody, got to the end of the game anyway. But there's a very interesting topic on CPC Wiki forums. Find it. Bloody hell. Turn down the music and touch there. Where's it? Where's it gone? Found it. There you go. For anyone interested in Dr. Scrime's Spook School, there's the thread on the CPC Wiki forums. There you go, Jack. So I've been keeping an eye on that. Last update was 14th of March this year. But there have been there's two guys. Bloody hell. There's been two guys working on it for like about three or four years. <laughs> Jesus, this game. I forget, what do you have to do in the Tuberuba? Press enter to play. ZX to move ref, PL, P to go up, L to drop down, at sign to fire gun. Use joystick keys. All right, okay. All right, I should be able to. All right. What? What killed me there? Oh, that th that that thing hurts. Right, okay. What am I meant to be doing in this game? What 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 killed me there? What the hell? Where am I? Oh, I'm at the bottom there. There's duplicates of me. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm at the bottom of the screen there and I'm being killed by the... ...munchy things and I'm dead. I want to play this when I get my phone fixed. And that's game over. Jesus, that game is hard. So I went through the window by accident and ended up in the greenhouse. It's like a fever dream. Bloody hell.
Bloody hell, kill me there. Don't go through the window there. Ah! What the hell? Why are they on the... What? Why are they on the ceiling? Right, I'm going to go around and collect money. What? What the fart is going on here? Jesus. There's two C Sinclair C5s on this. going on we just drove a c5 can we drive a car what the fart just happened don't 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 touch the mushrooms right Wow! Drive a Sinclair C5. There's a midget that came out the toilet! A midget came out the toilet! No, we, we came out the toilet! We came out the... the we... Uh, uh, did you see that? In the game, we came out of the toilet. This is like a game designed by GP. What? This game... What? 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 Isn't this the game that drives people insane? Yes, Zoe, yes. Cottage in Sim. Not midget careful, small person or yellow penny. <laughs> uh, we entered this room coming out of the toilet. My god. This is a dream game for angry video game nerd to make co to cover. A small person came out of the toilet. It wasn't just a small person, we, our character, came out of the toilet. That is the entrance to this room and, and, and level. We come we, we we went into a shed and then we exited exited out of the toilet. Did, did GP design this game? And we stole a Sinclair C5 as well. That was mad. Alright. Let's... Look, watch. We've got no energies. We came. Oh, oh, tattoo toilet. What? We came out of that toilet. Donated one pound. We not be cool like Sir Clive and Cruz Nottingham in your flashy C5. <laughs> nice rhyme. That's got to be Man Shovel. Thank you, Man Shovel. <laughs> Thank you, Man Shovel. I didn't give you dancing sugars there. Sorry. That'd be Man Shovel. Pumpkins in the chat for Man Shovel. Thank you, Man Shovel, for another pound. And the and the nice rhyme there. 
Jesus, that's bright. I think the aim of the game there is to to accumulate as much money as possible and survive for as long as possible, I think. Thanks, man, shovel. Oh, it's like an acid trip, that game. Excuse me. Well, on that bombshell, I think we'll probably call it there for tonight. Oh, this is a demo. What does he do in the demo? Even the demo's going absolutely berserk. Ah! Don't forget to drop us a thumbs up and a like, guys and girls. I'd appreciate it. Oh, he just goes. He just goes. In, he just gets himself wrecked pretty quickly. Good lord. What's the bot clock for this? Tuba. Tuba Ruba. Why is it even called Tuba Ruba? What is a Tuba Ruba? Does anybody know? Sam's cat has arrived in the office. Hello. You won't like me peeing pictures. Right. A school you have an infa infamous reputation for taunting. Never doing homework, getting into spikes, sticking gum in all sorts of strange places. For some curious reason, you've acquired a nickname, Tuberuba. It's a nickname. And whenever the teachers come across the slightest bit of trouble, you can bet that Tuberuba will be behind it. Obviously, they'd be quite lucky in avoiding the teachers from getting caught. Uh, smashing the window by the headmaster means trouble. Headmaster's giving you an option. Either you collect £50 to cover the cost of repairing the window, or you'll be expelled. He also says that your end of term grade will now be based on the amount of money you do collect, and then feeling very confident with himself, the headmaster bets you his Ferrari sports car that you'll not collect all the money in time. What a weird concept for the games. There you go. Wow, that, that's the original box art. And then they redid it later on as that. Don't know which one I prefer. I don't know, apparently Tuberibra was his nickname. Is the kid's nickname. Tubber up. Or was it Tubber Rubber? Tubber Rubber? Or was it Tuberuba? I, I, I always went for Tuberuba or Tubber Rubber. Kids don't take drugs. Who knows? Who knows? Jesus. Oh, excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Right, I think I need to call it now, guys. Um, I've got a, birth a kid's birthday party to survive tomorrow now. <laughs> Tucker Rubber. I think Tuba Ruba sounds better than Tubba Rubber. Tubba Rubber sounds a bit, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Right, we'll leave it there then, boys and girls. Let's go to the outro. I'm pooped now. I need bed. <laughs> Talk about ending on a high. Indeed, indeed. Well, the crazy world of Amstrad Gaming. Right. Thank you, everyone. Talk about, yes, yes. Yeah, to ending on a high, definitely. Right. Hey, Muzo, thanks for sticking with us all night again. Cheers, mate. Uh, night, night. Yeah. Right. Well, well, that's been fun. It's been fun tonight. <laughs> um... Three new Amstrad games. Three new Amstrad games. Uh, I think they were pretty cool. Um, I, again, they were quite small releases. They're not like a big tent pole, like hugely produced, big, huge games of a whole team of people working on them. Um, but I thought they were really cool little games. So, Chloe, uh, Rigor Mortis. Thank you again, uh, Francis from Shurasoft for like joining us in the stream in the chat. Hang out with us, uh, the author of those games. So, that was really, really cool and nice of him. Um, hopefully we'll make more um, Amstrad games. Oh! 
Music Clash. Sorry, Black Duke. Thank you, Black Duke. I don't have the dancing sugars on this outro scene to do the dancing sugar thing and bananas. We can, we can spam the bananas in the chat, though. Thank you, Black Duke. Thank you very, very, very much. The one pound. Cheers, Black Duke. You know, that's awesome of you. And also, Black Duke just recently joined us in the AM squad as well. So thank you, Black Duke. We'll be spamming the bananas in the chat there for Black Duke as well. Thank you, mate. Thank you very, very, very much. Nova, tu Nova Tuberuba stream as well tomorrow at 10 p.m. Yes. Yes. He's competing against the Eurovision, though. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you know where to go tomorrow night as well. Um, thank you, thank you, Black Duke. Thank you very, very, very much, uh, guys. Thank you, uh, girls, of course. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining in tonight. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, links in the description below to get the get new games we've checked out tonight, including Vexed. Um, so I hope you enjoyed those games. Uh, nice to have a little playthrough of them. Um, we will be doing the sugars soon, hopefully. If I can figure out what I'm going to do for the nominations and the categories, because I've got a nightmare with them. That's what's kind of holding me back. And also time to film the footage for all the sugar things. Uh, for our uh, Amsha Game Awards show. We well, should get that done soon, hopefully. Hopefully, God, hopefully before June we'll get that in. So, look out for that. Um, and we'll get another video soon sorted for the YouTube channel. And patrons will get a new video sorted as well soon for the Am Squad. Thank you, everyone. Cheers, Matt. Thank you as well. Cheers, Al K. Maud, sneaky Maud, sneaky now. Thank you, Maud. Al K, my fellow Al. Cheers, my friend. Night, night, Zoe. Game Hammer. Thank you for chilling with us tonight, as always. Um, nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Retro name, Steve. Have a good one this weekend. Robin Hook. Thank you for support as always, Robin. Cheers, mate. Take care. Clanny. Lovely to see you again, Clanny. Take care, mate. Lucas. Good night, mate. Have a great weekend as well. Um, Jack. Again, thank you for joining the AM squad recently as well, Jack. Welcome in, mate. And thanks for being, so, becoming a real regular here as well, chat. Thank you, great. Thank you. You have a great weekend. Lord of Spurgu. Yes. When is when is Wings versus Boogie? When where when when where can what can I watch that? Um, Anna. Take care, Anna. <laughs> Good luck delivering or crawling into wherever you're gonna be, wherever that may be, Anna. Thank you as always. Cheers. No arse candles tonight, apart from maybe Triton. <laughs> um, and GP. Lots of love to Ch cheeky GP and Man Shovel. Thank you, you two, the cheeky donos tonight. <laughs> right. Take care, everyone. I'll be back streaming on Monday on Twitch. And I hopefully catch you then. Have a lovely and awesome weekend. And I'll see you all again very soon. Take care, everyone. Good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Cheers. Bye.